Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode 101 of Directly to You, which is our podcast. We, Fanatics for me, AJ, him, Parker. We that's me <laughs> do this podcast every week. It's about Nintendo stuff, and we also make videos every week on our channel for Nice Four. And you can help support that channel by going to youtube.com slash for Nice Four or twitch.tv slash for Nice Four and pay four dollars and ninety nine cents. You get loyalty badges, you get emotes, you get gaming time with us, you get free switch keys from time to time, you get access to our supporters only Discord where we talk about a bunch of fun stuff, we play the video games. And we talk about, I don't know, dogs, which no, not anymore. Actually, that's in a different server. But that you, is. Can, you can also see that server for free if you click on the link in the description to join our Discord and talk about everything with mm-hmm. all of your buds. And if you don't have any friends, and I know there's a lot of people in Animal Crossing video, it's like, I don't have any friends to play games with. <laughs> you know, like, here you go, man. Free Animal Crossing friends. Play with Duncan. <laughs> um, but yeah, man. How you doing, Parker? You play you playing any Divinity hey, Original Sin? <laughs> I let me tell you what. Yes, I am. Uh okay, I'm gonna say this one thing about it because okay. I mean I'm so close to the end. There I okay, even on that. I thought I was close to the end a while ago because I'd read something that was like, act one is about this much of the game. Act two is about this much. And I misread it as chapter one and chapter two. Mm. So at some, when I was done with chapter two, I was like, okay, this isn't going to be a super long game. We're kind of like, I'm probably 70% of the way through the game. I was wrong. I misread it. That chapter two was still part of act one. So the longest part was still ahead of me. And even like, so all that stuff. Um, so I'm close to the end, but that, I keep almost being close to the end. And it's, I just have a lot of fun. I realized I mentioned in my video this week too, that I like gaming the system for single player games because it's just, I don't know, enjoyable to feel kind of OP. And that's just what I've been doing a lot of in divinity. Cause I'm kind of under leveled for where I am because a lot of times I've like persuaded my way out of things instead of actually battling people. Cause I don't know, just, Decided to do that because it's fun. Yeah, right. (laughs) (laughs) And um, and then so I've I'm now I'm abusing a feat that I took on two of my characters where normally you have to be a certain distance away from enemies to be able to like flee a battle and like disengage. But I took a feat for both of them where they could flee whenever they wanted. So and then there's little like teleport pyramid things that you can set up in certain places. So I'll have one of them flee a battle and it's turn-based so like giant trolls that you're fighting are just waiting for you like all right i know you're gonna shoot something at me but i'm just gonna hang around here till you do <laughs> um, and so like they're i'll special. just they're waiting for a turn they, they're so nice even when they notice that i disappear somewhere completely different sneak back up get in a cheap shot have somebody else disappear come in get a cheap shot have that person disappear there's been a lot of times that it's like should be a hard battle but not the way i'm playing it so it's been a lot of fun did you know you're going to be at pax no that de- oh, the developer's going larian to be at PAX. yeah so maybe you want to set up an appointment yeah i don't say, know what it's going to be to do I, but I play your game on to, <laughs> to meet the developers man yeah oh man i'm down with that that's I should have tried to, because cool. they're in Belgium, so I should have tried to meet them when I was there, but that's also I just didn't. true. That's also true. But now you have a second chance. A second <sighs> lease on life. Redemption. A second um, chance for redemption. I've been playing video games like Pokemon Home. That's a mm-hmm. video game. <laughs> that is. Oh, yeah. I didn't even put that in the news articles. I forgot. Um, I was but that's the thing that happened. In, in yes, that's perfect. <laughs> um, um, so, yeah, uh, it's not super useful to me yet because, like I said, all the Pokemon that I used to have and all my old games are gone uh, for the mm. most part. I have been playing through, like uh, I mentioned, like I played. I thought you still, and, still had the Pokemon Bank. You just hadn't moved them no, to Pokemon that, Bank. Those, the, the, like, the... All the Pokemon that were in Pokemon Bank before, I moved to Pokemon Ultra Sun. 
and Pokemon <laughs> Ultrasun is gone <laughs> forever. Oh no! So so rip, dude. Yeah. Um, but I do have like Pokemon and like the games that like I replayed because, like I said, I was replaying games with my brother and stuff. So mm-hmm. he's like, let's play Pokemon Yellow. So I replayed that. I have Pokemon in that. Uh, let's play Pokemon Diamond. I have Pokemon in that. I have Pokemon in freaking uh black and white just different games all over the place man yeah um so i have pokemon to transfer but those pokemon it's even more of a process i gotta use another yeah. ds and use specifically pokemon black or black or white two or whatever you know one of those games and then transfer them there and put them into the transfer thing and then transfer them to pokemon <laughs> bang to pokemon home and to the game and i just don't care that much man yeah um so like Really, the only Pokemon, specific Pokemon I'm like, yeah, I want to put that in Pokemon Sword and Shield, which this is spoilers for an answer to a Q and A question, I guess. <laughs> um, it's like the the starters, and that's about it. Like that's the only ones I care about. Mm-hmm. And I, I'm betting that if I just do, which is the thing I care most about, the thing I care most about with Pokemon Home is the ancillary stuff. I love that I can release boxes full of Pokemon at once. I think mm-hmm. it's kind of dumb how they go about doing it because mm-hmm. you still have to select every one of them within that box one at a time. So it's it's like it's so like, dumb. Yeah, it's like it's, it's kind of progress, but at the same yeah. time, it's not because they had the multi select yeah. tool. Why can't right. I just use that and then so- select all of them and go to the, release all Pokemon? I still had to go. For, I had to, you specifically had to use the selection tool that like gives you the option, like the different mm-hmm. options or whatever, and then you press select. I mean, you you press release, and then you scroll down to so, uh, release more than one, and then you select each other Pokemon that you want to release one uh-huh. by one. And even dumber than that, you can only release one hundred Pokemon per like session or whatever without yeah. saving your progress in what you did in the box, and then just jumping back in. So like the progress oh, is wow. like you release three and one third uh, boxes, it, like in the thing then you press plus to save and then you leave out and then you go back in and you do that again i mean i'm sure it's the goal is to prevent people from making too many mistakes or mm. something like that but even then like i, I feel like with a lot of things make, like i don't that. know how you can make a mistake like that especially since like it's not when you release the pokemon it doesn't seem to be permanent it's permanent once you save it Oh, uh, right, yeah. So, Because you have to press plus to be like, okay, I'm done with this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but yeah. if you go back, I, I'd assume, I, I mean, I'd have to test it, but I'd yeah. assume that it, it just is like, oh, well, you, you never did anything because you didn't yeah. press plus and then confirm that you want to save. I, in general, I'd very much like for developers of whatever, games, apps, all that kind of stuff, to give, like, especially Nintendo likes to make decisions on our behalf of like, well, this is the safer thing or this is the more efficient thing or whatever. Like this is Nintendo. This is game freak. Yeah. Right. But I mean like those kinds of things, um, I'm fine with those ultimately. Like it's not really a big deal. It's the same kind of thing as like, if, if the reason for folders and themes is because then boot up would be slower, like, or I don't know, whatever other things I can't think of right now. Um, just giving us the option of like, Hey, just so you know, it means this is going to be slower or there's going to be more risk involved. Or there's going to be blah, blah, blah involved. You all right with that? I think, and they'd be like, yes, that's fine. And, and, and a lot of the scenarios, I think the problem is we're uh, projecting <laughs> ourselves <laughs> yeah. onto most of their customers. And I think a big portion of their customers are way too dumb for that. <laughs> or i mean Too like young, you know where it's yeah. like, and then they complain to their parents like i released four boxes of my pokemon and i didn't want to do that and then yeah, they right. freaking are calling nintendo support and cussing poor college student out because yeah. they can't recover little jimmy's quagsire you know <laughs> like i mean because like little jimmy all things considered is it probably going to be breeding hundreds and hundreds of you know Quagsires, whatever. Probably he's just gonna have. Hey, who knows if he's gonna breed it? Maybe he mm-hmm. caught a hundred and six yeah. quagsire, and maybe he cares about every like single one of them. That little Jimmy would do. <laughs> <laughs> true, man. Little Jimmy, he just gets on my last nerve. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, otherwise, I mean, what are the things that, so releasing things, have you used like the GTS and Wonder Trade and all that okay, stuff? Okay, so yep. here's the thing. Here's the other thing that was annoying to me. And again, this is another stupid situation. So I, a lot of this stuff, um, at least I haven't figured out how to do like Wonder Trade and all this stuff on the Switch mm-hmm. app. It looks like that you had to do that on the phone. Um, mm-hmm. And yeah. 
the, like I set up the switch first. So then when I, I did all that and I downloaded the app and then I was like, oh, I already have an account. So I set up the thing and then I got my starter, which I picked. Uh, you're going to like this one. I picked Squirtle because I already have Charmander. I have That's right. I have yeah. them all over the place. But I don't have the I, best one. No, 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 no. He's the second best one. He's the best one. And it's, there's a big gap. Yeah, but he's the best he one. he peaks early. At the top of the gap. No. no. So, but... Well, at the, yeah, at the, at the top... So you picked the, the best one. Between, okay, move along. Uh, no. <laughs> I uh, but, but yeah, so I, I, I did that. Uh-huh. Um, and then it was like, you link your thing. And I was like, okay. So then I went through and I was like, here's my Nintendo account. And then I have this fancy, fancy iPhone 11. Yep. With Squirtle on it. Um, and, yeah, it does. <laughs> and then I, I logged, I, I tried to log into the thing and it has the face ID where it's like, hey, we have your password already. Show us your face. And then I showed them my face and then I signed <laughs> into the account. And then I, it gave me an error message and was like communication error or whatever. And this was like before the app was showing up in the app store. Um, I'd like mm. had to go to Kotaku Australia and then click the link to download the app. So right, I was like, okay, yeah. maybe it's because the app's not like fully rolled out yet. So I'm going to delete the app and I'm waiting until I find it in the app store. So then I waited like a day and a half and I saw the app in the app store and I downloaded it. it. Gave me the same problem. So now I was like, this is stupid. And I went to their support site. <laughs> There's no answers on this, uh, but there was a link to to not call anybody. I couldn't do that. But I emailed them and I, I just copy and pasted the error message. It, didn't, it doesn't have a number or anything like that. It's just like, this is the problem. And it's a super vague uh-huh. like, problem. Um, so then they sent me this long like email with like FAQ st- type stuff. And it was one line, like, I don't know, like two paragraphs down. It's like, oh, that's the problem. I can't use Face ID to, to sign into the account at the specifically manually type in my password on the sign in page manually yes type um, in a password yes. which is I in mean, 2043 exactly it's but, 2043 right but, yes okay. uh but no that's not the problem the problem is not that i had to type in the password i'm finally uh-huh. typing in the password the yeah. problem is that it didn't tell me that i had to type yeah, in the right. password <laughs> so i'm sitting here and i'm putting in fa- like how am i supposed to guess that that it's not compatible with face id yeah, for whatever right. reason especially like, if it prompts it like that yeah like every weird. time i go to sign in it's like show me your face I'm like, okay <laughs> uh so that was the thing and i finally got the work like yesterday and then it was just it was just one of those things where it's like i finally got it to work and i was like i don't care about this anymore and i just freaking turn it off i was like I'll, I'll come back to this later uh-huh. um but what i did mostly what i did was i just cleared out all my on the switch version and that was like a little bit before we started recording this mm-hmm. i just cleared out my breeding like shinies stuff so i i'm like nice out 102 applin i like have way mm-hmm. less applin now and it's yep. great <laughs> um have you or are you going to go through and like get all your shinies from because i assume you have some shinies in let's go no they're all gone oh not in let's go i never got a chance let's to go. shiny hunt in let's oh go. really oh okay yeah i always wanted to but i just mm-hmm. never got around it's because definitely let's go easier in let's go out. obviously no it's not i mean it kind of i, it is I mean it a, is in the sense of yeah I maybe mean, it's not breeding wise necessarily yeah but in the sense that like if you want to like shiny hunt even out in the then, regular world even then not. well so here's here's You're what i'll talking say about the, regular go no i'm talking about let's go so the reason being that um do do do, do the because chances are technically them. higher yes because you can see them and you yeah, can but like that's, but that's it that's the only thing the rate is still worse so in the, let's go than it is in this game Except it's worse, except for like if you're in an area where there's like you can go in and out and there's three Vulpix or whatever. Yeah, but I still um, gotta do that 2,000 more times. <laughs> no, well, what I'm saying though is the chances are technically three times higher or whatever because the chance of any one of them being a shiny is lower, but the chances of one of the three of them being a shiny is three times higher because there's three of them or whatever. So it ends up being faster than like in the overworld or whatever in no, that's dumb. sword and shield no, that's right. dumb because <laughs> eggs is freaking one in- oh, eggs is faster yeah, well, yeah that's I, what i'm saying yeah. and i don't do wild encounter shiny honey i'm not yeah. dumb i'm not max <laughs> well <laughs> you're not max no oh, the whole time i thought i had max on this it episode. turns out it turns out i'm not we were gonna have max on hi max i hope you're doing all we right were. he had stuff also going there's on. new loot pots people we should ask them if they want to be on the podcast that's true 
We should ask that. Well, we should ask. I mean, there's a lot of like we should ask Pixel, Pixel first. Far. Maybe, yeah. maybe if like <laughs> like let's ask Pixel, um, who <laughs> apparently listens to his podcast, and also oh. I was going to tell you this off air, but I'll tell you on air. He said <laughs> something about <laughs> he said something about the audio version uh, clipping. So look into that. Um, oh. <laughs> So yeah, that's that's the game I'm playing. Also, I'm playing Smash Brothers still, and I'm playing with Falcon a lot, like a lot. Like it's gotcha. basically like nice. appointment situation where it's like <laughs> one day we played at like seven, and mm-hmm. then we played until I don't know to like midnight or something, and then he was like same time tomorrow. I was like sure, <laughs> and then it just kept being that. And then like there'd be days where we don't play, mm-hmm. but one of us would be like try to play. <laughs> regular time nice. and then like you know everybody like th- different people jump in at different times like uh, my aunt uh, mm-hmm. who's my age for people that aren't aware yep. uh, she joined in one time and then she quit because she was like oh no this is too much <laughs> um, and then my friend Lance he joined in and he was like why is, uh, why is Falcon not like a top player and I was like I don't know what to Who's tell you say? I don't know what to tell you. Um, but yeah. Falcon, go be a top player. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know. Just like freaking go to tournaments all the time, man. Like just, he goes to like locals and stuff. And he wants me to go, I don't remember what the tournament was. I think I said I wanted to go to like Smash Con or something, mm-hmm. which is like a, a tournament for like uh, all the different Smash Bros. It's a convention, but it's yeah. also different tournaments and stuff like that for all the different Smash Brothers games that I kind of want to go to that. But at the same time, I don't know. Yep. Because traveling is, it sounds like a headache, you know? <laughs> yeah. Like day trips, that's fine. <laughs> but like PAX, I'm already like, I, well, less so, PAX is less so of an issue for me because my video goes out on Tuesday. So, yeah. Um, I mean, mine will, yeah. yeah. I'll just have done mine ahead of time and hope that it's still topical. <laughs> yep. Uh, and then we need to figure, I was thinking about podcast, it today. Yes, exactly. That's the one thing that's going to be like, okay, what do we do? <laughs> yep. Yeah. I don't know. There's a couple options, I guess. I don't know what they are yet, but they exist. Sure. There are some. <laughs> sure. Uh, so. But yeah, that's the games I'm playing. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I was, there was something else I was going to say I was playing, but <sighs> I don't think it was an actual game. Enough. It was not important enough. It was um, imagination. Uh, yeah, fun times. Speaking of imagination, that Disney wants more games that reimagine its stories and characters. Sure. Um, yeah. Yes. So this is kind of like, it's interesting because it's like Disney is like Nintendo in reverse. And Nintendo is like Disney in reverse. Mm. <laughs> because Disney is like, well, they were like, they did games like a long time ago. And then they were like, scorn. You know, they're like, yeah, right. we suck at games. <laughs> we're never doing it again. And yeah. then later they're like, all right, let somebody else take care of it. And then they took care of it. And it's great. You know, we got freaking mm-hmm. Spider-Man. We got star wars fallen order and all this yep. stuff. and even like you know like the remasters of the stuff that was good mm-hmm. um people like that like the aladdin game and lion king game and yep. all that stuff um so yeah like uh i would be down to see that mm-hmm. but more were you saying that but nintendo but it's the same but with movies yes, like with movies so <laughs> yeah. like back then they're they to a t they're the reverse yeah. because now they're like well we'll do it and we'll like take it more seriously. Mm-hmm. But back then they're like, ah, let somebody else do it. Whereas Disney's like, we're taking it more seriously by letting yeah. somebody else do it. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> now it's like this, this whole thing. And like, that is funny. You know, it's, it's going to be great. And I'm always talking about how like Nintendo and Disney are like two sides of the same coin. Like they, like uh-huh. Nintendo very much so wants to be Disney. Um, yeah. And it's just except because, for with like, Sora. That's the only way in which they're not. <laughs> Cause I, Sora's not in Smash. Oh my God. Um, that no, <laughs> sad. Uh, it, sure, I guess so. Mm-hmm. Um, but they're like Disney is like their closest peer, you know. It's like, you yeah, get to, right, you get to a point, it's kind of like how. Like you can't really talk about like YouTube problems with people at your regular job. <laughs> you can't be like, oh man, the algorithm's really screwing, screwing me today. Yeah, <laughs> right. They're like, uh, but th- like yeah. Nintendo can't go to Microsoft and be like, man. We're just making too many Mario games and Zelda games, and, and Microsoft's like, we wish we had that. You know, like, we <laughs> wish I had multiple IP that we can do that with. Uh huh. Um, and even, I mean, even PlayStation to a to a certain. Mm-hmm. Uh, but Disney, on the other hand, is like their exact 
like counterpart in that regard where they just have mm-hmm. a lot of different IP that they had to like juggle. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, yeah, so yeah, I thought that was interesting, but are there any like Disney properties that you're like, yo, I want a game of that. Mm, let me, and like a legit game, not like a Disney game. That's like a license. Yeah. Right. Piece of garbage. I'm looking, <laughs> sort of thing. Piece of garbage. I'm looking up Disney franchises. Um, Oh man, they're they own so much stuff now because they own the 20th Century Fox stuff as well, yeah. which is that means like also Ice Age apparently and Alien and Predator and obviously X Men and, and stuff. The Avatar game that's uh, made yep. by Ubisoft, I think. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, Avatar like. Avatar like, or Avatar or Last Avatar, Airbender? like no, like Avatar, like Avatar, like the the Pocahontas ripoff. Apparently, that I've never oh. seen. Yeah, it's, eh, it's it's not. The, I mean, it's like well, it was visually stunning, but also like kind of who cares? Um, <laughs> I I don't know. In any case, I was looking up what that was, but uh, I don't know. You go first because I I'm trying to think. I, I'm just surprised you haven't said Simpsons 14 times. Oh, I definitely thought about it. Um, I just think it's dumb that we don't have any Star Wars games that aren't Lego related. Yeah, right. Or, or pinball, I guess, on Nintendo Switch. Mm-hmm. It's kind of stupid. Yep. Um, I, I mean, we got the Marvel Ultimate Alliance game, so that's a yeah, step in the right direction, like, too. Give us, like a, give us like a Spider-Man situation, yeah. you know, like a Marvel Spider-Man. Uh-huh. Give us like a freaking Iron Man game. I mean, it looks like this something. was... This was incited no, by even, even PlayStation has Iron Man. We need like I don't know. Mm-hmm. Give us. Thor. I was going to say the Hulk, but no. Yeah, uh, it looks like this was inspired by Jedi Fallen Order. Yeah, um, which uh, Mitch is playing right now. But yeah, I mean, in general, I've heard. I forgot that game existed until today. Oh yeah, did you buy did it? I, yeah, I bought it, and I was playing it for like two weeks, and then. <laughs> Yeah. I got to like what ten hour mark, and I was like, mm-hmm. "Okay, yep." <laughs> That's usually when games go to die for me. Uh huh. I mean, so, but I think what it does well that a lot of other ones don't is not Nintendo ones anyway. <laughs> um. Yeah. Right. Uh. I feel like it taking a pre existing genre and like or a different genre than just like action platformer. Yeah. Pretty much is like yeah. that's the easiest. Action platform, super easy. Just do that. Um, but taking, you know, the Souls like kind of formula and doing that with a game, I don't know, works out. Yeah, better. I mean, or I guess even Simpsons like hit what run they're doing with that. the yeah, Avengers game. Like the Avengers game is like a mm-hmm. what? The, what are they even trying to call it? Like a like a one of those co op like games as a service, sort of yeah. like not Monster Hunter per se, but like. Mm. The sort of thing where it's like, like a yeah. destiny sort of situation, I guess. Yeah. Um, kind of like that, but not like PvP. <laughs> right. I Just mean, the, the missions where it's like the, the bosses and the raids and all that crap. Mm-hmm. That sort of deal. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, it would be fun to also see more Star Wars ones, yeah, that are different. And like, because there's it's kind of like we talk about with Pokemon, there's a lot of different aspects of Pokemon mm-hmm. that could be, you know, like, Pokemon Ranger and that kind of stuff. Right. I feel like even within Star Wars, there's a whole lot of different. Give me a moisture farm simulator. <laughs> what is a moisture <laughs> farm? You don't know what a moisture. That's where freaking Luke's and Anakin. That's their whole thing, man. That's their family business, dude. Oh, I never picked up on. How that. did you not know that? Know. That's that's what they do on Tatooine because they live How in the desert. They, yeah, right. Like that's the whole thing. They're like, we're on a desert. We need moisture. <laughs> so they're moisture farmers, dude. I'm telling Will. I yeah. I mean, <laughs> oh, I'm definitely not a Star Wars super fan. I enjoy it, but I don't. I'm like... not a super fan either. But I still knew that was a thing. Apparently, you did, and I didn't. I but did you know about this other thing about it that I didn't know? No. Um, uh, I don't know. Bob's so, Burgers is one that IGN mentions by name. Oh, that would be fun. What would um, they even do with a game? Would it be freaking Burger Time? <laughs> I don't even know what Burger Time is, man. You I'm, don't know what Burger Time is? Oh, my God. No. Nope. They need to make a new one, Burger though. Time, and I'll do uh, 
hopes so for my first one. Burger Time game. You're supposed to know because you're older than me. So you're supposed to know what Burger Time is. Burger Time. Oh, my God. I'm looking it up. I'm oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I've never played this or anything. I'm not that much older than you either. <laughs> still, you're still older than me. I'm still no, older. never mind. Looking at this, I still, it looked like it was going to be something different. I <laughs> still don't know what this is. It's like arcade game where the yeah. burgers, you got to freaking stack okay. the burgers without messing it up or dying or whatever. Indeed. <laughs> yep. That's what huh. it is. So Burger Time 2020 is Bob's Burgers <laughs> game. Yep. There we go. Yeah, um, or otherwise, I mean, yeah, Bob's Burgers, Simpsons would be great. Um, but the question is, like, what do they do with it? Because the problem with that well, is it Simpsons. also, yeah, um, obviously, like, you could do another hit and run kind of a thing. The problem with The Simpsons is that you need to have a writing staff that's, like, on point or whatever. So that could actually be pretty expensive in a different direction than... They could, ju- well... I, I doubt that the the team behind the Simpsons would be as down for games as the South Park like no oh, yeah like yeah, yeah right. but like they could do something like that or yeah it's, like, it's just like a season of mm-hmm. the Simpsons but a video game yep or I mean what would be fun too if there was like a I don't know Simpsons time travel something whatever where they you go back and visit old episodes or something and do it just goes to interact the, it's just it's just a victory lap of all the stuff that they <laughs> predicted pretty much or, oh yeah man that'd be great but like <laughs> yeah go through you know like show up in the NASA episode or whatever and yeah then you NASA have to episode, do that one yeah, it's it's <laughs> Homer goes to space and okay. yeah, I'll uh it's it's a very funny one. I enjoy it a lot. Um I think it's the one that a lot of people say like that's when the Simpsons jumped the shark. In my opinion, it wasn't until a bit later, but I also happened to start around that season. So oh, um so your standards were already low. Apparently. <laughs> so yeah, Simpsons would be fun. Um, I don't know. What they got too much stuff, dude. They really do. Make a, like, make it. Can you have, the question is like, as people talk about Disney and a monopoly and stuff like that, I don't mm-hmm. think you can have a monopoly on ideas. IP, IPs yeah. though. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm always talking about that. Like whenever people are like, they need to break up Disney or whatever, yeah. right? Like it's a, a telephone provider or something. Right. Like somebody with like actual like infrastructure, or like something right. tangible. They like, they have too many things that I like, you know. It's just like, <laughs> well, that's kind of everybody else's fault for not making things that you like, right? Yeah, or right. just being first to buy the things that you like. Yeah. Um, and a lot of times, like companies do acquire the rights to things that people like, but they they're not as good with using them. So yeah, it's like, right. like Fox had Star Wars for how long, and nothing was being done, you know. Mm-hmm nothing of worth other than like extended universe stuff that like only like the super hardcore people were buying yeah exactly and the video games but they're not making like blockbuster movies in the in the in yep. of like the prequels because like everybody hated that and they're like oh okay well we're done we're gonna try anymore <laughs> yeah uh, so like like nobody was nobody does with ip what disney does so it's like it, it's it's easy to try to hate on them but like, they just buy everything and it's like yeah but that's half the battle like you could buy right. everything and suck with it. <laughs> yeah. Like right. they did in video games. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> True. Yeah. I mean, cause like marketing, creating the thing that is the thing people want from it too. Cause there's so many, cause they're going to be making a, a fantastic four movie again at some point. Right. Like yeah, that'll be interesting to see. SEO. <laughs> I know <laughs> it'll be interesting to see how that goes over as far as like, because that's one that had two very failed you know, iterations of the IP. And so seeing if that turns into something better would be, yeah, just kind of, you know, point and whatever, a yep. good point for them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, it'd be, yeah. Like just doing stuff like that. And even just, you know, like how Spider-Man happened, right? Like mm-hmm. how that was like a game around when the, uh, when homecoming came out mm-hmm. and it was just like a completely different take on it. They could do stuff like that. 
where they make yeah. games about the properties that they're making movies for, but just go in a complete different direction. So like, and even the Star Wars Fallen Order, where yeah, that came right. out around the same time, but it wasn't like Star Wars, uh, the Rise right. of Sc- Skywalker, Star, the video Star Wars, game. the movie, the game, right? Yeah. Exactly. Because mm-hmm. that's the problem is a lot of times the the reason movie or the reason video game movies feel contrived is because you in a game you have so many options or whatever, you know, like you can pace things however you want, play stuff however you want, and you have an element of control. And then in the movie, they have to take that away most of the time, you know, like that's, or they, they have to take it away. So they have to like formulate it well around that. But then on the flip side, the video games that are based off movies pretty much are doing the same thing of like, well, we couldn't, if we wanted to make it like the movie, we couldn't give you that many options. So now you can control someone not having the options. I think it's because they don't put that much like thought into translating what happens in the movie into Mm -hmm. gameplay mechanics. Like something that was relatively recent, Mm -hmm. Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, right? Like that is pretty much straight up the show, but they remove a lot. For one thing, they, they, the things that are there, they don't utilize as well as they could to make gameplay mechanics. And mm-hmm. then they take out stuff that like is like the perfect gameplay mechanic, you know, <laughs> like just watching it in the show. is like, Oh man, this would be like a dope RPG thing or whatever. Yeah. Right. Like there's so many like video gamey things. Like I talked mm-hmm. about before the game came out, like a, a system that no Dragon Ball Z game does well, that it's huge in Dragon Ball Z is time. Like mm, they play yeah, with right. time so much. Like a lot of the like, constraints that are put on the characters is they have to like oh okay you made a wish on the dragon ball so you have to wait a year to do that or there's the hyperbolic time chamber where a year for them inside the time chamber is a day outside of it right so they don't play around with stuff like that well enough and i think that's the problem with a lot of like licensed video games is that they don't use the rules of the movie and what happens in the movie to make gameplay mechanics they just try to make a game that is like other games and then use the the movie as like a skin <laughs> rather yeah. than like the foundation. Mm-hmm. This is true. I don't know. It would be fun to see more things happen, especially have the Star Wars IP. I think, yeah, having Fallen Order was a good step in the right direction as far as having it not just be, you know, EA doing EA with a Star Wars skin on it. because. Yep. Yeah, so curious to see where EA goes too, because it feels like, I don't know, could be interesting. Also interested to see, not actually that interested to see, uh, Hoko Life. <laughs> <laughs> I I started saying that, I was like, that's not true at all. Yeah, I'm um, not that interested. In uh, but yeah, it's a game which is, oh, I uh, can't, hang on, I can't look at this article because whatever, we know enough about it because I have an ad blocker on. Um, but Hoko Life, it's pretty much Animal Crossing but for the PC. You know, and not actually Animal Crossing, but it's a rip yep. off of it. So the thing about this, um, mm-hmm. it just reminded me of like Temtem and it feels like that's just mm-hmm. happening more often. It's mm-hmm. like the, the bigger Nintendo, when Nintendo's more relevant, this happens more and more often. Yep. And I think that there's always a contingent of people that's like, see, these these guys get it. They know what we want or whatever. But like this stuff always feels so soulless. Like yeah. they they take a few things that like fans would be like, this would be neat. Like there's there's something that a lot of people are uh, like picking up and like, you know, running with is you can customize stuff like like to the, like a lot more like minutely. Mm-hmm. Uh, like I'm looking at a clip right here or a, a GIF more specifically of Mm -hmm. them taking a pattern a pillow from a Uh chair and then copy and pasting it and then repositioning it so that it fits in the like the back of the chair Mm -hmm. um so it's like they they get stuff like that like the mechanical side of it down where it's like man you know like the pc nerd stuff (laughs) they they get that right but it feels so soulless outside of that like the 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 characters look blah everything just looks so plasticky like and it reminds me a little bit it. of, I mean, I don't know, like Mario Maker levels in some ways too, mm-hmm. where like, obviously there's a lot of Mario Maker levels that are awesome and like, well, well designed, and like do cool stuff or whatever. But they, even then a lot of the time, they don't necessarily have the same kind of like soul or whatever. And some of them is because of the inherent limitations that Mario Maker is going to have versus mm-hmm. 
a, you know, just developed game from the ground up. But um, that is something, I don't know. I had a point that I was making with that. That was a bit better than whatever ended up coming out. But like the, 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 the fans of the thing mm-hmm. only understand what it is from what they like about it, right? Mm-hmm. Whereas, like, developers make it with a full vision in mind and say, this is right. the point of this game, and then they build out from there. Mm-hmm. Um, so you lose a lot of that when you see you have a fan that might just like one aspect of this thing, mm-hmm. and they go full bore on that thing that they love about it, and uh-huh. then they, like, drop the ball on everything else about yeah. it. I mean, it's like if I were to write a song, actually, I was talking with a friend of mine about an artist today um, that is a good example of this. If I were to write a song and put in every single cool thing I could think of and like just fill out the whole song with like solos and whatever, like everywhere, just because to be like, I mean, I can and it's interesting and it makes sense musically. So it's fun. Um, and somebody who's to make it a song <laughs> and forget right. to like actually make it a song. Mm-hmm. Somebody who is like, super you know into i don't know complex music or whatever might be like those are cool things that are happening but at the same time some it's very much a less is more in some regards if the heart of the song needs to have just like here's the core bit of the song so similarly game wise i feel like there's an element of that where like the heart of something is more important than the actual mechanics of it and it could be either with like animal crossing or temtem or whatever either that the developer purposefully took those things out or they didn't get to them or whatever um but at the same time i mean it's good it's great for people who want to do that i think the like demeaning the original thing because of the new thing that just added the little bits that everybody's been talking about so it's really it's really easy yeah, like, i feel it, like to add things that people so are talking easy about. to build off of for, a foundation right than it is to build that foundation yeah. <laughs> right like it's yeah. so much easier for me to like buy pre-made ice cream and then make it a better flavor than uh-huh. what i bought it you know it's like i made this sunday it's way better than vanilla bean right <laughs> like, but I, didn't, I didn't make any of the things involved with that i just right. bought freaking like i like chocolate uh yeah. like you know chocolate freaking i can't even think of the word fudge or, or like hot fudge <laughs> And like sprinkles and all that crap. But I didn't make anything regarding that. I just mm-hmm. had an idea of a creation that somebody else made and mimicked mm-hmm. that. Yeah. And it's just like, I don't know. Like that, yeah. that, that doesn't really impress me. Yeah. I think that um, if anything, I selfishly want these things to, to do at least moderately well so that the mm-hmm. people that actually make these things good and yeah. see like, oh yeah, people like this. Uh, yeah. Let's put this in a game that actually has soul. You know? <laughs> you know? um, yeah. Because like that, I think it's like the 80, 20 rule, right? Like all this yeah. stuff is like 20% of what I want. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, that's why I, uh, talking about Pokemon sword and shield and I guess animal crossing coming up. Uh, Mm -hmm. most of what I like about the game, they always get right. It's just that 20% that I'm like, man, I wish they really did this, Mm -hmm. you know? And that said, there are also games that do a really good job. So like Stardew Valley being one Mm -hmm. that like, it's, it implements things that, again, I haven't played Harvest Moon, but to my understanding, it's like more similar functionally to Harvest Moon than Animal Crossing, but kind of within a similar world in any case but it implements things that people would have wanted and people have enjoyed um but still keeps the soul or whatever but i think at the same time somehow the ones that are more different um like stardew valley you you wouldn't look at it and be like wait is that harvest moon oh no it's not harvest moon i maybe i I, then again again i i don't know enough harvest moon stuff to know if there's one that has a similar art style or whatever i played multiple harvest moon games and i would like gotcha harvest i mean stardew valley definitely seems like a different thing yeah um and it it doesn't really feel like it's coming from the same place you know yeah exactly it's not a like let me recreate this plus some more it's like uh oh i love this kind of game i'm gonna build a game that reminds me of how i felt playing those Mm -hmm. and then you know builds off of that and like plenty of metroidvanias are the same kind of thing we're like hollow knight isn't straight up just castlevania or metroid or whatever you know it's just they use kind of a foundation but do something different but yeah there's there's definitely some of these games that are almost like in the uncanny valley ish 
of yes. like trying whole, to be if, if your whole uh you know like business model is pointing out how many things you do better than the other guy mm-hmm. it, it, you're probably yeah. not making something <laughs> that's worthwhile honestly. yeah this is true yeah last but, processing um, <laughs> yep true uh, next up new games on nintendo switch online to two new SNES games and two new NES Yo, games. Oh, the most exciting games. They're your favorite Everybody loves that you've games. ever you I mean you're playing Pop and Twin Bee all day long I and got like posters all over the, the, everywhere. Maybe. Smash Tennis is pretty much I mean you came out of the womb just saying yep. Smash Tennis. Smash Tennis, yep. You know, yep. and then your mom was like totally Smash Tennis. Yes. That's what I 100 i had i had a shadow of the i had a shadow of the ninja mobile or whatever yep. it was great uh-huh. man and i i just keep eliminating boat duels so <laughs> um, is it like uh that was not this, even based off the game i just like boat duels in real life so so like um is it like a a Yu-Gi-Oh card deck made exclusively <laughs> of boat cards do, 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 do. like yeah, uh it is. what is it yami ship or whatever <laughs> Sure. Yeah. It's like an evil ship is like on fire or something like that. In in Yu Gi Oh. Yeah, Yu Gi Oh fans know what I'm talking about. That's right. They do. I <laughs> and don't. <laughs> Long story short. Um, but yeah, so some games they announced them on two was Wednesday, I think. Does it matter what day? It doesn't really. But they're they, coming it, the nineteenth. I think it was like one of those things that they tweeted because like Nintendo's in the the Pokemon place where every time they tweet something, the 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 hate mongers yeah. swarm in and change the com or try to change the conversation. Where Nintendo's <laughs> like, "Hey, we cured world hunger," and then everybody's like, "Where's the next direction?" Nintendo direction. Oh my goodness, <laughs> that like I mean. I mean, we didn't put it as an article, but the direct thing was definitely, uh, I think this week more than the last couple for yeah. sure. Like, I feel like it towards mid January, it kind of w- hit its peak and then it dipped back down last week was a little bit like, but is it going to happen maybe? And then this week was like, I feel like the first week of February was everybody just sulking, like being sad <laughs> because they spent the whole January being like the January direct. And then February comes around and like, yep. So, yeah. <laughs> and now I they're, now they're back. Now they're getting to angry. It's <laughs> true. Like, and you honestly, made me yeah. look dumb. Like it's not even about whatever they're going to announce. It's just that they were so sure, mm-hmm. and it just feels stupid now. <laughs> I I do hope. Just selfishly, very selfishly, I hope that it's next week so that it makes my video for when I'm at PAX. Very easy. Yeah. <laughs> so I like have things to talk about because otherwise, like, it's just hard to figure that out. But, you know, whatever. Yeah. It'll happen when it happens. But yeah, we got some new games coming. Uh, they're coming on the 19th. So there you go. I I don't know that I'm going to be playing any of these. Yo, everybody knows I got to play Smash Tennis. It's I mean, for obvious reasons. Legally obligated. <laughs> um, Do I, I think, no, that year's over. I was about to say, do I have to say uh, free products for oh. Switch Online? Oh, is it within a year of it no, coming out? No, it's just because they gave me a year of oh, Switch Online, but that year's up. <laughs> yeah, now, well, I still, well, I guess I'm a roundabout way I paid for it because Amazon Prime. So I got mm, another true. free year, and then I got other free months from like Overwatch and Mario Maker and all that Look stuff. Look at you go. So I'm just paid up, dude. Yep. Man, speaking of paid up, wonderful 101. They keep, they're like <laughs> yep. paid up on their Kickstarter. Um, but we waited till this week to talk. I mean, we kind of talked about the Kickstarter part last week. Yeah. But uh, it's episode 101. So obviously, we're yep. going to talk about it now. Wonderful 101 didn't exist until this week. Sure didn't. That's what, uh, they, what if that, what if, dude? What if we announced it? on directly to you episode 101 they would not have met their kickstarter goal nearly as quickly how do you know man maybe we would blow maybe it would have been a freaking like uh markiplier uh five nights at Friday situation and we would have gained like five million subscribers or something like that yeah because we just like coexisted what was the and I, was I guess i didn't know th- did he popularize five nights at Freddy's? Kind of, yeah. I mean, he was already like, you know, like relatively successful, right? Gotcha, like, yeah. He was still like a pretty big YouTuber, but like his channel blew up in the same way that like Game Theory gets like 
exponentially bigger every time a Five Nights at Freddy's thing happens. Yeah. Right? Um, it was like that, where it's like, it, they coexisted. <laughs> yeah, that fandom is so funny. And like, I know Grim, or not Grim Hain. I mean, I was thinking Grim Hain because Dan. <laughs> but, Grim Hain is flattered, dude. Yeah, he is. I mean, you guys are like within the same. Oh, uh, but I know Dan. You guys are the same person. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. As far as I know. Um, I mean, his Dan channel is big off of. Dan has a cat. What did I say about dog? You said he's Grim Hain, and Grim Hain's a dog person. Oh, mm-hmm. then here we are. Yes. <laughs> yep. Here we are. The wonderful 101. I just checked the Kickstarter for fun. It's at 1.6 million. Um, man, and... I, I wonder when they're going to reach that 50,000. <sighs> man, it's, it's a long way off. Um, they are, I'm let's see, could... the next stretch goal is at 1.75 million. Mm-hmm. Um, and then... Xbox it looks like had three million. I'm calling honestly, it now. there are yeah. There's probably like I don't know six or seven more stretch goals that they could achieve, just because there's a bunch of space left under it. Kind of like how in Mario Maker, there's that space yeah, left with the more space yeah. kind of themes. <laughs> I was just kidding about that because yes, the uh, jokes. Yep, jokes, jokes indeed. <laughs> But uh, yeah, wonderful one one. Any thoughts on this coming over in general? I don't know that we haven't talked um, about last week. I have. So I have this on Wii U. Cool. Um, and I played a little bit of it on Wii U. And mm-hmm. I was like, this game's cool. But like, it's on Wii U. <laughs> kind of done here. Mm-hmm. You know, like if it's not at this time, if it's yeah. not Smash Brothers or Mario Maker, I don't care. <laughs> so yep. I didn't really play that much of it. But I'm down to play it. Especially, I want to see how they like change it like the control scheme and all that stuff mm, yeah because i mean you, there was a way to play it with like the analog stick and stuff like mm-hmm. that um but i wonder if they're going to do that again or if they're going to like maybe use motion or you mm. like or like touch screen, if you know? you're in yeah yeah like i mean i feel like okami was a pretty good um set a pretty good I example for I that don't even know I don't so because okami know. it's um it's got like a paintbrush yeah i know thing, that much, you know that i just thing. don't know how the um, other like non motion and so yeah so in okami the um when you do the brush stuff if you're playing in docked mode you can either use the joystick or you can use motion controls you just hold down a button and do it Mm -hmm. and if you're in handheld then you can either use either of those which probably don't use motion controls when you're in handheld because that's annoying maybe you can't in handheld but you can use um touch screen oh actually speaking of which speaking of motor controls and stuff i did try to fix my joy con um my right one has been having drift so Mm -hmm. i bought some new joysticks and i tried to fix that this week um it was almost ripped double blue for a minute there that was uh that was a sad moment i (laughs) yeah i mean i so i ended up trying to like long story short i got it all apart everything was fine getting it apart but the ribbon cable for the new joystick that i bought just like wouldn't push in to the slot that it was supposed to be in. Um, and so like I tried to do stuff and that wasn't working. So then I tried the second one cause it was a two pack of them. And then that one wasn't working either. So I ended up just having to put the original one back in, which worked luckily and I didn't break it or whatever. So it's all fine. And it stopped drifting just kind of on its own by opening it up and doing stuff, but I'm sure it'll come back fairly shortly. So <laughs> <sighs> it is what it is, but yeah, that's been a time. Um, yeah, no, I I never even attempted to attempt. I d- never even thought about <laughs> opening up my Joy-Con for any reason ever. I'm just like, I don't. I'd rather just buy a new one. Yeah, <laughs> so like it's, it just a better yeah. Use of time. The shell definitely like replacing the shells thing. I have one friend that did one of them, and he said I didn't bother with the other one after that. Um, yeah, bye. the ribbon cables definitely seems like that's the really annoying part of it because like you know unscrewing a bunch of stuff is whatever you put some screws places or whatever um but that and then also like one ribbon cable accidentally got unplugged and i had to like for like five minutes just try to get it in the right place and hold it because it was like real tight in there and it was gross just, so not too, probably gonna do it again all parts dude i'm not yeah i'm not for it yeah. I mean, even for like regular controllers, I'm not doing that. <laughs> <Just a laughs> yeah. <brand new> controller. <sighs> yeah. But yeah, uh, wonderful one one. I'm I I'm I didn't kickstart it uh How dare just you. easily. Um no, I yeah, I don't know. I just 
at this point, what does I'm, that even mean? <laughs> oh, I have no idea. I'm just going to wait for it to come out because I, I've got a backlog. I don't, they don't really, Support really need my money devs, right now. Parker. Yeah, but they're going to be small fine business. Right now. I said they're going to be fine. Um, How do you so know? I'm just going to get it. How will well, Kamiya eat? They got all their goals. It shows me their money's right there. It shows me money. It is funny. I pointing at my computer screen. Uh, there was a comment on my "Should you buy a Switch in 2020?" video where I mentioned um, that the only console I have is a Switch, mm-hmm. and someone commented like, uh, "He said he's only got a Switch, and then he's got a PC right there." And I'm like, "All right, if you want to go be playing <laughs> some games or whatever on." a Mac mini from 2012. You have a good old time. I mean, you can, I'm sure not all of them and not most of them, but some of them. So. Aspire will hook you up. <laughs> True. But you I don't play know. Freaking what? Arkham Knight on that. Probably. Probably. I mean, my I mean, computer crashes Knight. sometimes what when we're it? just having Arkham calls. Arkham Asylum. So. That's what I'm thinking. Probably yeah. not Arkham Knight. Rip. That's not happening. Probably. Super rip. Rip. Um, but yeah, that's about it for the news. It was a pretty slow week, if I'm being honest. That's it true. Just people w- being worried about Nintendo Direct. Mm-hmm. That's, about, that's about it. Yes. <laughs> and we're not feeding into that. <laughs> no. Um, but yeah, let's get into your comments from your video. Any thoughts before you get started? Uh, Animal Crossing, dude. Uh, it's, it's a guaranteed hit, man. That's all I'm, all I'm saying. <laughs> It's, I mean, it's true. I did wonder for a while. I was like, what happens if this is the first Animal Crossing where people are like, I don't know. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> and then this is definitely, I was, yeah, no. Yeah, no. Sure enough. I, it's going yeah, to no. be great. Uh, there's literally, like, even the, like, lesser performing Animal Crossing videos did better than everything around them. So, it was, yeah. I, you know, <laughs> so yeah. get, if there's one thing that is like definitely gonna at least until the game comes out. We'll have to see after the game's out how, mm-hmm. how it performs then. Uh, but from the first video I've made to the last one that you made, mm-hmm. it's as close to a sure thing that we've ever. Other than the twenty nineteen and the, you know those videos, those are also yeah, yeah. pretty sure things. Um, but you know, this is the more regular sure thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So there you go. Uh, here's some comments. Uh, Zeal Hosey says, Nintendo is dead to me. I just thought this was a good comment. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I like when people share their, their, uh, their personal experience. <laughs> Indeed. Um, you know. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry to hear that. Sorry for your loss. Uh, Zeal, <laughs> Zeal Hosey. <laughs> Sorry I like how it's, how what a fanboy dude. How do you, <laughs> how do you know is his loss and not their loss? What if yeah, I don't know. unsubscribe? Yeah, go for it. Please <laughs> go for it. <laughs> go. Um uh Fujo King said, I can't wait to get my hands on this game, crying face heart. I pre-ordered that <laughs> new switch and got my best friend into Nintendo Switch overall. It took me an hour or less. She likes Animal Crossing New Leaf a lot and is currently playing because she can't wait for New Horizon. Crying laughing face. I've had, <laughs> I, I'm going to stop doing this. Uh, I've been trying to get her to buy Switch for a long time because I don't know anyone who plays Switch, but she hasn't been willing to pay 350 euros for a handheld console since she has a PS4. Note, she didn't know you can play Switch on TV, LOL. Uh, so I spent an hour to tell her about Switch, its games, New Horizon, and Pokemon Sword and Shield. She's also a huge Pokemon fan like me. I'm going to sell my old Switch to her for 150 euros because paying 400 euros for a new Switch, game included, is too much for me. But I'm now happy I get to play Animal Crossing with a friend. Part of the fun is that we have, we have to go get the new Switch from another city, and that alone takes time. I think we both are way too excited, and we'll play all day when it's finally released. Um, what a wholesome comment. Tell your friend <laughs> to uh, check us out, man. We're all so big Pokemon fans. Specifically me. You know, watch my videos. <laughs> Parker talks about Pokemon Animal Crossing sometimes. That's true. Parker still hasn't played Pokemon Ultra Sun. I mean, Ultra Moon. Hashtag. Uh, wait, which one did I give you? Ultra Sun or Ultra? I don't remember. You don't even know. Probably. Pretty At this fun. point, though, also, I you definitely need to send the code again because it's buried deep in our oh Twitter my, conversation. Oh my god! <laughs> Why didn't you just redeem it then? Because I didn't. Is that a good reason? Ugh. 
no, but I can't. I can do that. I can do that. But now that Pokemon Home's out, you got a perfect reason to That's true. get used to Pokemon. And then also, see, this is the thing. This is what we could do. I got to start over, or maybe you just catch up to where I'm at. Mm-hmm. I'm like three trial, th- three or four trials in, and then we could just freaking you know talk about our experiences. That's so true. We could trade and do. Uh huh. I can stream it because it's so easy to stream no, two and three DS stuff. Nope. nope. I'm shaking my head for nope. audio listeners. Nope. Not doing that. <laughs> but yes, Fujo King, very glad that you got your friend to get a Switch because I, I'm really bad about that kind of thing. Like, what, getting I, friends to buy things? Getting, yeah, I mean, pretty much. Like, getting friends to, or like, positive peer pressure. Oh, I, so you're telling me you need to be fired? <laughs> yeah. No, I, I'm here to present data and say you can do with it whatever you want but then everybody listening goes and takes the videos and be like these are pure facts and if you aren't gonna buy this game like that then something's wrong with you or whatever see i'm the opposite this is the whole reason why i'm here because (laughs) my friends whenever they buy things it's because i'm like yo this is gonna be dope and then they're like yo I think I'm just, uh, maybe I at some point had some experience where I told somebody like, hey, you should definitely get this thing. It's great. And then then they they were like, you were like crushed and you never tried again. I think that somebody, and then they got it. And then they were like, I didn't like that thing. Oh, so it was the opposite. It's like they, they, they crushed your spirit. Yeah. So I, because you tried and failed that one time. Exactly. You, just so, never try. you like swore it off. You like I think I also pass. know like that I, like people, I don't know. Like, I just know that I have different preferences from other people. So I know like I don't succumb to really any kind of even positive peer pressure. If someone's like, Hey, try this thing. And I'm like, if I just don't want to, I'll be like, oh, I'm good for right now, but thanks man. Um, so I think I just don't like doing it the opposite way either, but I'm glad that other people can, because it's such a, it's such a fun peer pressure to get people to play video games with you. It depends on what it is. Yeah. Because, for, oh, for sure. Like I, I'm not really the type of person, but like, I like this thing. Try it. Mm-hmm. I'm more so like, I know what you like. Yes, right. And, and that, I, know I definitely. That this is a thing that you will like. So try it. <laughs> yep. It is true. Uh, Nightmare Fuel says, I keep hearing that time travel won't be a thing. And honestly, I don't want the game if that's the case. Missing Holiday is bad enough, but forcing players into a particular style makes me sick. Since when did the new developers think they should turn this game into a dictatorship? Wow. Okay. So I I thought we should talk about it's this a little dramatic. Yeah, you know, it goes places. Um, I, okay, so time traveling. I think that there's a chance that probably that won't be a thing, but we don't know for sure. So I don't know. It was always. Uh, correct it just me if I'm wrong. Like something that they didn't really want people to ever do. Yeah, and, right. And the second that they get the power to stop you from doing it, they're probably going to. But. We again, we don't know. So it's not. I yeah. think that this could very much be a case of like you know, like the cloud saving thing, where it's like you might not be able to do it in the traditional sense, but they understand that it's like a core part of a lot of people's experiences and, mm-hmm. and like a fan favorite sort of thing. So they'll yeah. have like some sort of like tongue tongue in cheek thing where it's like every once in a while, the freaking time traveling, I don't know, hamster that looks like Doc Brown or whatever uh-huh. appear, and he's gonna be like, hey man. Uh, you could time travel to wherever you want just today. Yeah, you know, I can. I can see them doing something like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, but the other thing, missing holidays. That's not even true. Um, they just haven't really showcased it specifically. But it will definitely have holidays. Maybe I, he I, means, or she I means, think, or this person means she. Maybe she means like missing holidays is bad enough. Like if oh, if I'm missing, t- no. Maybe she's talking about. Um, or they, I'm pretty sure it's a she though, because profile pictures, but gotcha. And also Animal Crossing, <laughs> uh, demographics, yeah. Uh, I maybe they're talking about like the, the release window, in which case, I mean, that makes more sense, yeah, because it was supposed to come out. I don't know, but that wouldn't really make, I mean, maybe, yeah, it wouldn't necessarily make sense for like, um, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, okay, because it was delayed or whatever. Yeah, like yeah, it, it's bad be. enough that they missed a holiday, but like yeah. they they also took away this like mm-hmm. core thing to the thing. Like yep. I'm just done at this point. If it, like, and then the only other thing I can think is that it does mean like I won't be able to play on Christmas. So like mm-hmm. then I'd miss whatever event happens around Christmas or something. Right. Like that. So like they had to time travel back to. We yes. got it. We right. solved the case. <laughs> <laughs> um. 
<laughs> yeah, and I, again, I don't know how all that works and if there's ways around any of that. But also, it's on your Switch, so it's. I feel like pretty easy to just like pop in for a second, even on uh, on Christmas. Or yeah, whatever. I think the I think the whole thing is like. Um, and I mean, we'll get to this in, in your video. I don't know if you pulled any of those comments where it's like all the people are like, when you were like, I don't like, this isn't really something that I could see myself <laughs> playing for a lot of time. And, and they're like all laughing at you. Yeah, they're like, they oh, you, you, you little face. <laughs> um, yeah. But like, I think that that's what they're, they're trying to like steer you in the direction of like, yeah, no, this isn't something that you should play that much. Yeah. It, right. It's like you check in, it's like an advent calendar sort of situation. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, what's the what's the game got me for me today and then you yep. check with all your friends and stuff and then you turn it off and you play smash brothers <laughs> um <laughs> uh my projecting uh but no <laughs> um yeah that's I, I think that that's a big part of it of, like of what they want you to do they want it to be a thing like you check every day and you see it on the front mm-hmm. of your homepage and you're like, what's freaking Mr. Rossetti? It, it's, he's spiraling into deeper depression because he lost his job. He did. What a um, sad man. He did lose his job. Man. And they were like real upfront about it. And they were like, <laughs> it was, it's dark, dude. <laughs> like they're not even hiding that, man. Maybe he'll be reborn as. Uh, he's not dead. I mean, but job wise. <laughs> he's, he's still you know? alive. <laughs> is that, do you think firing people is literal? Yeah, oh, it no. is. Okay, well, I have yeah. good news for you. <laughs> I, haven't been, I, I haven't been threatening to kill you. <laughs> uh, so, uh, but yeah. Oh, okay. In that case, I quit so much. Uh, uh, not really. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. But yeah, uh, on the note of the new developers, thing, it's the same developers. It's the same ones. There's been some like shuffling, like the director's different. Uh huh. He worked on past Animal Crossing games. The dictatorship like, thing, though, is very accurate. It actually yeah, is a true. literal country where one person tells everyone what to do. So yeah. it's very yeah. interesting. Do you know game development was a country? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I think that's funny. I'll be interested to hear Nightmare of Fuel keep us updated um, on, you know. Yeah, when we hear about the time traveling situation, mm-hmm. let's know. If you, yep. if you, or, I mean, if, if you play you, the game and, like, you know, fig- figure out those things do or don't matter or something Mm -hmm. in the long run that'd be interesting to find out or let us know why time traveling is that important to you specifically Mm, true like genuinely not in like a like Mm -hmm. if it matters not in that way right like seriously like i want to know because i mean that's there's you know like i save scum in divinity for example sometimes um but there's also sometimes where i'm like oh that wasn't the thing i wanted to do and i just go with it Mm-hmm. And I think if there weren't the possibility to to save scum, I would just have I don't more know. situations. I don't know what that means? Oh, say, uh, I mean, I don't know if it's the right term for that specifically, but like, um, I it, thought that you were literally saying, like, I thought that that was like a thing in the game. Like, I, I oh, save no. crappy yeah. people in the game sometimes, <laughs> and no, then so I'm like, like, wait, why did I save that piece of garbage? And um, turned- <laughs> so save scumming would be like if if there's something that's RNG or whatever, like randomly generated, uh, I, I could save oh, right so before you're it. you're the scum. Got it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So like <laughs> resetting the game to like get something different to happen or like more often it's that I don't know what's about to happen in an area, but I know it's going to be something and I want to go in and have the, you know, have the jump on them instead of them having the jump on me. So I go in, find out what's happening and then be like, all right, cool. And then strategize about how to deal with it instead, as opposed to like D and D or so whatever, where it's just like, what Christmas happens happens ahead of time. And, and then no, man, that's dumb. You rewrap them. No. Then... Yes. No, never. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> um, interesting. But yeah, so I think, yeah, to some degree, I don't know. I think you just have to be, a little bit willing to take the bad with the good and, you know, yep. I just choose what it outweighs. Whatever. Uh, Mega Man. Hey, Mega Man says, I'm looking forward to this. I haven't played an Animal Crossing game before, but reading into it and also the fact I can play with people excites me. I don't quite 100% know what to expect, but I do love games where I can just roam around and do things as a way to wind down after a long day. P.S. Yes to the giveaway. Winky face. Yeah, I'm probably going to do the giveaway. Probably. Awesome. But yeah, hey, me too, Mega Man. Same thing about it being the first game. <laughs> It'll be fine. Is that mine? Um, 
I don't think the, I guess my first one was on GameCube, but I think the first one that I like actively played was the 3DS one. <laughs> <laughs> or it, like and by actively played i mean like played longer than like the first week and i was like, eh, and then i checked back a year later and i'm like okay this is too much dude I mm-hmm. totally <laughs> oh yeah that's definitely that's interesting because like with stardew or whatever it's just a save spot you know where i mean you just save and then you come back wherever it was but yeah, stardew valley doesn't like shame you for the, yeah <laughs> like, but at the same time like i think there's something to be said for i mean like i said in my video of like in stardew the fact that i would end up restarting days because i didn't do them efficiently or whatever mm-hmm. the fact that in animal crossing is like today's just today so i'm just yeah, gonna do no whatever like, i do today feels a little bit better mm-hmm. as far as the kinds of things well, that stress me out there's some efficiency things but it's more like uh, positive yeah like a net gain sort of thing like because mm-hmm. as far as like utilizing it like if they have like the island situation it's like yeah. there's certain things that are worth more money if you play yeah time and you get all the things and then you come back and it, you know in that way yep um but not really in the like and that is a thing that i need to watch myself on this day and you gotta like that's yeah like, yeah so it's not good. like a decision heavy Yes, right, exactly. That's nice. And then the last comment from Alex Rogers, uh, who says, so I've been slightly confused about this. I'm getting the New Horizons Special Edition Switch, and I plan on keeping my original Switch. If I get a digital download of the game, will I be able to have two separate islands with one download, or will I need an additional game for my other Switch? Okay, so there's been a lot of misinformation about this in the comments, Mm -hmm. uh, specifically in reply to this comment. (laughs) I, I replied to it, but... Just to clear it up for anybody else that has this question. Um, no, you don't need to buy another copy of the game. You can just do what me and Parker do, and other people do, and just download the game to your other Switch. You make your, I guess, pr- uh, preferably your Switch light, mm-hmm. your, uh, your primary Switch, and then you make your, your regular Switch the mm-hmm. secondary Switch. And then you don't connect the one, like you don't connect them to the internet at the same time. If, yep. if you're playing on both or whatever, for, for whatever reason, don't. Mm-hmm. Or connect the secondary um, one to the internet. Don't connect the primary one to the internet. Because yeah, yeah, the secondary yeah. one has to be, but the primary right. should not. But the, yeah, exactly. But that's what I'm saying. Like yeah. You can't play on the secondary one if one is connected to the internet. So right. it just accomplishes the same thing by saying, don't have them mm-hmm. both. Online. And you'll have, there'll be different save if files. Playing, if you're playing something else on yeah. your secondary Switch, mm-hmm. it's still going to like kick you if, there, yeah. if that's connected to the internet. And then, so... Yep. You, just, you can't have both of them connected to the internet at the same time. Yep. Um, and then, like, you know, just play the game. And then, like, the save file isn't on the cart. So mm-hmm. your save file will inherently be different if it's on your, your – especially since you can't mm-hmm. transfer them. Well, he said it's a digital download, which same thing at that point. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Yep. So, yes, you can. I hadn't even thought about doing that workaround because it's been so long since we've done that. Um Yes, because, I mean, not a lot of single-player games that we both want to play. <laughs> mm-hmm. Maybe it would be worth doing a video on just just that. That just is like a little update thing or whatever, just because yeah, people might want to know. I don't know. Sure. Or if you're doing an Animal Crossing video again, just stick it in there as a true That's as an true. update. Yeah, um, yeah. Like, a, like when Animal Crossing comes out, that would be like the first. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see yeah. how I want to do it. What that, will. that video will be. <laughs> We'll see. <laughs> Indeed. Um, but yeah, cool. That's it for your video. And uh, moving on to mine, still Animal Crossing. Here we yes. go. Um, so I've never played an Animal Crossing game before. Everybody now knows this and is aware of what I think and it's judge really going to be like. harshly. <laughs> called your names the whole they time. They did. Just kept on doing it. Um, but yeah, it was interesting reading these comments in any case. Um, this first one is from, I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, Chan, um, Chan Crico, maybe, but spelled with like webdings or something. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's more like Japanese symbols and things. It's like a, it looks like a mixture of like Japanese characters. Yeah. It's like leet speak, but less technical and more like, you know, like actual, like yeah. characters, <laughs> something. Um, who said the following? Animal Crossing is much more than a game. It's life. I got New Leaf right after I moved out of my mother's house in 2014. I was kind of bummed because the pacing of the game at first was very slow. When I moved into my new apartment, I started playing more. And as my town developed, so did my new life on it 
on my own. Everything from the music, item collecting, room and house design to the villagers. Every day I'd wake up and so happy to see my town again. One thing I can say is Animal Crossing is very therapeutic and has helped me through dark times. Hope you enjoy New Horizons and I honestly think it'll be the best Animal Crossing title. Yo, that got deep quick yeah <laughs> <laughs> like in the, in the beginning it seemed like a meme and then it was uh-huh. like oh no this is like a sincere genuine comment <laughs> that's true well i'm glad animal crossing got you through times and i'm i'm ready if i'm gonna have any dark times and it doesn't get me through them i may just blame you but no, <laughs> uh no that's I, that's fun to hear people's stories about it in any case a lot of people were telling their stories about like you know i played animal crossing for the first time when i was five on the gamecube and that kind of stuff. Yeah, uh, you listen to like the um, the Nintendo voice chat podcast, uh, IGN's podcast. I do. I haven't I, listened to this one this week's. No, yet, I, I, I haven't listened to that podcast regularly in a long oh, okay. time. Uh, but Brian Altano was talking about like his like relationship with uh, Animal Crossing and like mm-hmm. how he used to play like with his ex girlfriend or something like that. And then they like they broke up and then Oof. like they physically had to break up like in the game or whatever. <laughs> it was like and like the That's like. Funny. The animals and stuff would be talking about her. He's like, I don't, I don't hear her anymore, dude. Like, she's not here. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, so, like, yeah, stuff like that is uh, funny in hindsight, but yeah, dark, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, I do think. I mean, it looks like I. I'll be curious what people say as far as like if it's the best Animal Crossing, you know, or not when it actually comes out, because I'm sure people will have differing opinions on that. But I feel like you hear less of that conversation around Animal Crossing than you do around a lot of other franchises. Yeah, because Animal Crossing is Animal Crossing, dude. Yeah. <laughs> like, that, that is very much so, like, one of, and maybe because it's newer. Um, yeah. It's just one of those franchises, and by new, I mean, like, under mm-hmm. 20 years old. Or, yeah. Yeah, under 20 years old. Mm-hmm. Uh, that is like it didn't get old yet, so they're like, yeah. yeah, just give me more of that. <laughs> I mean, and it seems like the core franchise also hasn't really changed that much. Like, it seems like it's still pretty much the same ideas. There's a lot of mechanics probably that are added and like mm-hmm. different features and stuff. But as far yeah. as you know, like it's it's about the same kind of yeah, thing. That's what I'm saying. Like, so it, like it, it's not really to the point where it felt like a Pokemon thing. Yeah. Where right. it's like, all right, okay, I'm done with it. Give me more than this. Yeah. Though, you know? <laughs> yeah. Um, Animal Crossing is just like, mm-hmm. just make it look prettier yeah. and give me more stuff. And then like quality of life. That's uh-huh. all I want, man. But like Zelda and Mario, because they're also older and stuff, have changed up the formula right. a whole lot. But so I, it's I feel of- like M- Mario being uh, the exception, Zelda's kind of on the same trajectory as pokemon honestly mm. where it's like every 15 years or so they're like all right time to change <laughs> mm-hmm. so interesting we'll see we'll see if new horizons is like the last one in this in this regard and then, like if it is the zelda mm-hmm. of Animal, like if animal crossing is the zelda equivalent yep that would be interesting uh Mac- everything dude. <laughs> indeed maxwell guyton says you've got the right idea about the game it's definitely way more fun than it sounds on paper because that yeah. was something where I was like, yeah, maybe, you know, I don't know. It's, it could yeah, just be one of those things like when you play it, you're like, oh, okay, now I get it. Right. I don't know if this is like the type of game that like in the, in the same way that like me and Bob had that whole debate about like how hard it is to do something. Mm. Like, I don't know if this is fun mm. <laughs> per se, you know. Yeah. Uh, which, I mean, parts of it are fun. Like, because there are like, you know, mm-hmm. well, at least in like, uh, New Leaf. There's like you, you do the multiplayer, and then there's like mini games within that. Those are fun. Yeah. Um, but I don't know if like you know like picking weeds. Yeah. And like selling stuff and like giving gifts to other mm-hmm. animal friends. I don't know if that's fun. Yeah. Like minute to minute, maybe the things you're doing aren't exciting. I guess is maybe yeah. another way. Of putting you do that. More, like it, it still gives you like a dopamine. Yes. Where it's right. Like, man, I made my animal friend happy. But it wasn't <laughs> necessarily fun. Uh huh. That's interesting. I mean, that's a very clickbaity video right there. <laughs> Animal, Animal Crossing, Crossing isn't, isn't fun. fun. <laughs> <laughs> Is it clickbaity? I don't know if it's clickbaity. Yeah. I mean, people would say it's... You people know. would call it clickbait. Yes. But it, and I think it's just because people are bad at describing things. <laughs> Hence the, the fun debate 
and the uh, hard debate. Uh -huh. so people yeah. are just bad at word association. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's like for plenty of people, obviously, like Duncan being a great example for Death Stranding or whatever being fun or not fun. Like, and people talking about that. Like, it got a lot of hate when reviewers were talking about it and saying like, it's not very fun, but 9.5. But then like, I, I don't hold anything against death training at this point because it seems like the reviewers, some of them maybe were being kind of biased and weird or something like that. But for the most part, like that seems to pretty much echo what the fan base or what just regular people that I know aren't like fanboys of Kojima's are, are just like, yeah, I mean like, it's just, it's, not like fun, fun, but like I enjoy doing it and it's kind of a challenge in its own right or whatever. So like I, I'm on, you know, I'm down with people talking about stuff in that regard, but right. it's interesting. Yeah. Uh, last comment from Minor Rex, uh, which starts out about the same way, says, from the looks of it, you're pretty spot on with everything you mentioned. And I guess I agree. Animal Crossing is like a better in practice than on pay pen of paper kind of game. But hopefully you'll see that there is indeed much more to it. One thing's for sure, try not to hype yourself too much over it. The last thing I'd want is... The last thing I'd want for someone is to experience Animal Crossing for the first time and be disappointed. I, for one, am super excited for this game and have high expectations, but that's mainly because I have experience with previous games, so I know more or less what to expect. All in all, I hope your first game playing goes, I hope your first time playing goes well and that one day you'll look back and feel proud of how much your tiny little house grew. <laughs> I like this comment a lot. The, um, the comments on this video, at least the ones that I've seen, they're, they're wholesome, dude. They're yes. way more wholesome than I was expecting. <laughs> any, other, any other fan base, I'm telling you, any <laughs> other Nintendo game fan base uh -huh. would have been down your throat if you were like, the first, this is the first freaking Kirby dude. If you made yeah. a game about Star Allies being your first Kirby game and then being disappointed about it, it would have been four, dude. Four. <laughs> But Animal Crossing is like, oh, man, it's it's almost exactly what I thought it would be. Mm -hmm. It's like people took it as a as a, a mission to sharpen you in. <laughs> you know? It's like we must bring him in mm -hmm. and make him one of us. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So yeah, and I I think that point too of it, to your point um, of him saying. Or, to not be too excited for, or or she actually, I don't know. Um, this person. Yeah, saying like, don't be too excited about it because you're like, animal. you know, yeah, oh, maybe you're an animal. <laughs> of course, <laughs> that explains everything. I think is a good one because like that's definitely the case where like I, I think for a lot of things, if you haven't experienced something like it, you just need to go in with no expectations and just see what it's like and then go from there. But then once you kind of, I mean, like they said, once you have a certain level of uh, experience with it, then you can have specific expectations or hopes or whatever. And, um, yeah and be pretty safe with those. Right, because if you go in with like certain expectations based off of like external things, mm -hmm. you, you then start to judge it off of what it's not trying to be. Yeah. Kind of like a lot of people with Pokemon. Where it's like, <laughs> yeah. How is this not like freaking Dark Souls or, uh -huh. or any other RPG or whatever, right? Yep. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. Good. So, I don't know. All in all, I'm excited. Um I'm excited to to try it out and see what's going on. And I think it'll be a fun, relaxing game and that kind of stuff. But that we'll should have, honestly, even though I would have made it a way longer video, I should have like asked you, like, what do you want to know about <laughs> Animal Crossing before I made the first oh. one, not this one. Right, yeah. Uh, because there's just a lot of stuff that I did not mention because I, there's a lot of it that I was just like, this is obvious. Mm. Even the stuff that was like very, very, like when you DM there, you're like, people seriously asking you if it was like yes <laughs> coming yeah. through, yes and people ask me the same thing with every bit whenever i make a video that's like everything we know so far about x game or a, uh -huh. a game that's like this game got announced and it's going to be yeah. great and here's why there's always multiple comments that's like yeah but like is it coming to 3ds though <laughs> uh, and it's like the pokemons and you know it's uh -huh. a bigger, yeah um, right which is really funny yep but that's it for our videos and now we got q a <laughs> Here we go. We really do. Um, from YouTube community. Uh, these aren't questions, but they're nice little things. Uh, you said something about Valentine's Day, I guess, in your post. And yeah, so Eric tell Henley me, said... Tell, about, tell me about what they're doing for Valentine's Day. Yeah. Eric Henley said, I always celebrate Valentine's Day one day late because that's when I treat myself to clearance treat snacks. <laughs> <laughs> treat snacks. Smart. I... 
I support that a hundred percent. You and got crunchy peanut butter and uh, that's right, and raspberries, oranges, and oranges. <laughs> uh, and then David Figueroa says, "I might get a feet massage." Well, actually, it says, "I might get a feet message," which is <laughs> great. But you should definitely get a foot massage. I don't think that I've ever gotten any kind of massage. Same. And like, not I like, should do that someday. Not like, a, like you know, like I mean, yeah, like, like, like somebody comes over, like, yeah, how's yeah. it going, man? You're doing all right. You know? yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. not like a thing where I like paid a person and like got in a towel. <laughs> I so let's do it in packs and vlog it, dude. <laughs> yes. All right. Is that deck coming out of the business expense? I'm down. <laughs> no, the, it is not. We, we need more subscribers for that. <laughs> yeah, and not exactly. even, not even. I don't even mean like to pay for it. I mean, we uh-huh. need more subscribers for that to like be worthwhile. Or people, there's enough people that care. Yeah, right. Like they got oh, like, like right now it would just be Duncan and Che being yeah, like, we'll get, we'll why get are you getting massages? Views, <laughs> we'll get 120 <laughs> views and it will be worth it. Uh, yeah. Um, no, so I got Ashley a massage once for our anniversary. No, I don't know for her birthday. How for dare you? Something. That's bad. Um, that was a long time ago. <laughs> uh, yeah, for something I got her a uh, massage and. It was, she went, it was like, you know, when you have a hairdresser that like talks to you the whole time, which like, then again, I usually like, I'm fine with not talking, but Mm -hmm. like I go in expecting I'm going to talk to this person for this whole time. (laughs) Um, So it's fine. But like, there's also somewhere it's like, I don't want you to be talking to me the way that you're talking to me. So that's a different thing. Um, But somebody giving you a massage should not be talking to you the whole time. And hundred percent, this lady was like, apparently you know like talking about her boyfriend that was like 20 years younger than her and stuff and just going on and on and on for a whole hour long massage and ashley was like I w- i'm not here for this this is supposed to be relaxing and instead oh i'm having God. to be like that reminds mm, me yeah so on the train to go see bob i forgot i didn't mm-hmm. talk about this somebody <laughs> was having a literal and i'm being the most literal that i can possibly be so don't mm-hmm. take this as a joke or, or anything. A joke too late. somebody was literally having a therapy session on the train literally they literally <laughs> had the therapist on the train with funny. Them, and they were having a therapy session they were talking about their problems and now it was very awkward dude. that seems yeah very i mean because like that's fine but like also kind of public in yeah. general for like yeah i don't know i mean like i don't know i i'd be down to talk about a number of my you know whatever's going on in my head with people but a literal therapy session is a little bit past the train point yeah I don't know. especially because trains like are kind of loud the, the so like you have to stuff that they were talking about yeah i was like i don't i wouldn't talk about this <laughs> on a train yeah <laughs> from new yeah. york city no less I mean, yeah I, mean, I, don't, I don't i don't know if i'll be having these conversations with but 127 people <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. a freaking 20 foot radius or whatever that's hilarious um questions from discord mega man asks what did you guys get up to for valentine's day it's still Valentine's Day for us, it you is, silly. Man. Just because you're 200 years into the future because you're in New Zealand doesn't mean... I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> yeah, his Valentine's Day is already done. Look at that. Yeah, that's true. But uh, are you doing anything for Valentine's Day? Nah, man. I'm chilling out. The, uh, but we're going to... See, we're going to address this when we get to Falcon. This is true. Because he more directly this is true indeed. a question about... Um, oh, just chilling out, dude. Yep. I, uh, Ashley and I are going to see this movie, the Sonic Yes, movie. I'm wearing man. a Sonic t-shirt. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go do that and it'll be fun. It's at the, the dine-in theater so we can eat dinner oh. there, which is fun. And we're, I mean, we did a big thing for our anniversary, so, um, nothing crazy huge for Valentine's Day, but, right. um, she wrote me a little card and it was nice. So, yeah. Oh. Yeah. And then uh continues on. My wife and I don't do Valentine's Day, but we have our five year wedding anniversary next month. Oh so we'll do something special for that. Good. Okay. I'm glad. Um, um well I'll, you know, go yeah, go I for it. I was gonna say something, but it just makes more sense to talk about it. Uh, okay. I'm gonna ask this I question. believe it. Uh out of the Pokemon you can transfer from home to Sword and Shield. What was the Pokemon that excited you the most on Valentine's Day? Uh, so I mentioned this earlier, but just the starters—they were the only ones that I was like, "Cool!" Mm-hmm. Everybody, I don't even know. 
I yep. know that there's like some legendaries and stuff. Like I could probably, tra- I could transfer. Well, I could do that anyway. Like the Mew and stuff. Well, no, yeah. I, I lied because I already transferred it to Pokemon Let's Go, so I couldn't transfer. So like my Mew. See, but this is the thing. Every Pokemon that I'm going to transfer, with the exception of maybe some, where it's like I get an idea in my head where it's like I want to build this team or whatever, right? Yeah. They're just going to live in the box anyway. <laughs> so I don't care about yeah. being able to transfer any specific Pokemon because, like, I don't know. Like, I, yeah. I, I've never really was on that train where it's like, but I want this one <laughs> thing. So. <laughs> yeah, I think for me, I I figured out at this point because I took time away, especially from Sword and Shield, and like the way that I was playing it, I wasn't like trying to complete the decks as I was going. So I think completing the decks already feels kind of overwhelming, even though it's smaller than the whole national decks. So f- for me, like I think it's just the ones that I'm most excited about are Blastoise. Cause duh, um, and my shinies that I have in Let's Go, and Scyther's not going to be in there because that's not because he's not in the Galar decks, is he? So he don't matter. Um, so yeah, I think pretty much that shinies and Blastoise. And that's pretty much it as far as ones I'm like real excited about. I think that this like Pokemon Home coming out and it having its own national decks uh, has renewed my desire to get like the full net like the full mm, thing. Yeah, right. Um, because now I have four hundred of a thousand or whatever. Yeah, and I just gotta get the rest, dude. Yep. I do wonder still if. Well, actually, no. Technically, I have more than that, but I don't know how many exactly I have yeah. from the other games or whatever. I got to figure that out once I transfer everything in the home. Yep. Which I still haven't even done because, it, like, I want to transfer the stuff that I don't already have in Sword and Shield, mm-hmm. but it just seems like a lot of work. So it's like, I, yeah. just to be, I wish they had a filter that was mm-hmm. like, st- like, just show me the ones that I don't already have in my Pokemon Sword and Shield Pokedex. Yep. Or even just in Pokemon Home. So, like, if I had to transfer every Pokemon I have in Sword mm-hmm. and Shield into Home and then transfer every Pokemon I had in the other games, except for the ones that I already have. Yep. So I can just, or even just dump those Pokemon into the Wonder Box. That would also be cool. Did Pokemon Bank get better over time? No, it did not. <laughs> <laughs> then never mind. I was going to say, because like a lot of things, you I know. Mean, Pokemon Home, I, I would assume that it will, because it, it does seem like that's supposed to be like their permanent, like, right. this is the thing now, especially since it's like all mobile, you know. Yeah. Uh, so I think that this is like the destination for Pokemon yep. is like with the they they don't foresee them doing like a Pokemon that won't become more complicated. You won't tra- the, like, it won't be mm-hmm. the thing where it's like transfer your Pokemon from uh freaking Gen one to Gen two and then transfer yeah, from Gen, right. you know like that whole thing. Um, so yeah, yeah. Hopefully it gets better in any case, but yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Um, Long Chris asks, "What's your top three favorite non-starter Pokemon?" Me and my girlfriend were going to see Birds of Prey and go to mini golf. Oh, but de- oh that's this in is response to uh, you were going to see Birds of Prey and go to mini golf, but decided to just get dinner and desserts and do those another day. Good plan. I need to see um, Birds of Prey also. I, okay, I will say I saw it last week um, mm-hmm. after the podcast mm-hmm. and I thought medium about mm-hmm. it. I, I thought it was I our, like, thought medium. <laughs> It was like uh, the action scenes were cool. Um, I the I think really what it I don't know. I never like giving impressions too early because I don't want to like. I heard it was like Deadpool, but Harley Quinn. I, a like, little bit, yeah. Interesting. I I think for me the the thing, and I was pretty sleepy too when it was happening. So that's something I'd gotten up at like yeah really early that morning, um, but I didn't feel like the plot was like super clear in where it was going most of the time I, it was kind of like okay we're doing this thing and i understand that we're doing this thing but i'm not really sure what the end goal really is and like there's and especially because the main guys are She's or, trying to get over mr j yeah <laughs> well, something something so i think because the protagonists are bad guys essentially it makes you not sure who the bad guy, bad guy really Who's is the in, baddest guy. Yeah, right, exactly. Mr. So, J. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely Mr. J. But yeah, so, but overall, I think like the writing was good and um, stuff like that. Also, the fact that our theater had literally like 10 people in it in a big theater made it feel more underwhelming big than I think it would have in a big, dude. yeah, that was 
pretty bad on open. Also, night. Uh, unrelated, but I'm now calling Joker Mr. J for the rest of all time because Joker is oh, the Smash Brothers character. I was wrong, by the way. Oh, it's not Mr. J at all. He doesn't show up at all in the movie. Yeah, but she's like trying to get over him, dude. True. Yes. There, when you were saying Mr. J, I was like, yeah, that just must be the name of the bad guy that I forgot no, what his name was. About Joker. I'm but yes, and she does call him Mr. J a lot. That's, I mean, that's his name because she true. also plays Smash Brothers. That's, you got it. Um, but Long Chris did ask a real question, to AJ. Come on. He said, What's your top three favorite non starter Pokemon? Uh, that's hard. Uh, Gudra. I mean, I'm basic, so. G- that's true. That's true. You are. Mm-hmm. Uh, Gudra, Scrafty is pretty cool. Um, I like dragons, so Flygon, even though he sucks, dude. Mm. Give Flygon a mega evolution. That's not garbage. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm going to be real basic. Get ready for this. Uh, here, t- take your guess as to... Uh, go, give a guess. Arcanine. Nope. Uh, I, I thought about it. But Scyther. Got him. That's one. Um, Eevee. Nope. Uh, I already guessed three. You did. Okay. Scyther, for sure. Pinsir. Mm-hmm. Uh, slash hair cross. I'm gonna put a hair cross in there instead. Pincer, get out of here. Never hair cross you. is also cool. I like hair cross. Hair cross, super cool. Um, and pincer's um, dumb. Pincer looks stupid. I don't know why you like that one. I mean, it's just the ones that I like thought looked really cool. It's as just a the kid. one that you know exists. It's, it's the, just the ones that I was like, yeah, those. The, the I just got excited about it. Pokemon, you have committed to memory. <laughs> no, I have lots of pokemon committed to memory <laughs> I, I it is really funny because i used to f- like fancy myself quite a pokemon enthusiast or whatever the, 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 yeah the pokemon but it guy, was like they met me and you're like i no. no. i mean when i say you used to well that's true but i mean yeah especially it was like back in the day and like that i i was like wow i can name all 151 pokemon in order <laughs> blah 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 and stuff but like that doesn't matter um and it's not yeah, name all anymore. a thousand yeah exactly so yeah i just fell off the bandwagon Rip. but Rip. uh third one i want to say aerodactyl but eh. i thought you were going to say unknown the question mark one sure we could go with that because it represents all the rest of them that i <laughs> forgot and then uh long chris continues to ask what's your favorite movie snack hashtag fanatics foods uh pff- are we ca- so we're just talking about like regular movie theaters like we're not counting like you know like alamo mm, Jazz Pass, mm. sort of situations because that's cheating i think yeah probably. i guess movie theaters uh um, i mean i'm going to a dine-in so like that's that- true yeah that's like <laughs> alamo that's why i was asking that okay question. gotcha yeah because like um, i feel like if i was just like you know pizza or something. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know like a bacon cheeseburger <laughs> But also, like, the movie theater I usually go to is, like, attached to the mall. So they're just down, dude. They're just like, man, get whatever. Because yep. you probably bought it in the mall. I Okay, well, I will so say I, on yeah, the... Last mo- time I went to movies, I got white chocolate. Like, the, you know, like, the... Um, there's like, they're kind of like cookies and cream sort of situation, but they're pretzels. Oh. Yeah, those, and those are real good. Dude. Oh, that sounds good. Oh, you... It, like in the, the like little the Hershey ones, ones the Hershey yeah, 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 yeah. I have had those. Those are good. I we went to I don't, <laughs> and Grant Hayes will be like, it's not real chocolate or something <laughs> stupid. Um, we were gonna go see some movie and I don't remember what it was, but we um went to the Dollar Tree ahead of time mm-hmm. and we got a bunch of candies. And then as we were checking out, we said to the lady who was working, who was kind of a little bit older, and we were like, can you tell that we're going to the movies? And as she's checking them out, she goes, yeah, I don't think you're allowed to do that. <laughs> we're like, okay, you killed the bus. <laughs> like, that's not I think funny. That, I think that that's kind of like the reverse from what I would expect from somebody. I know. I because figured like she'd be my, like, oh, but, I know. All of my grandparents would have been like, like if I'm going to the movies, they're like, that's sure thrifty. Like, yeah. Make sure you get snacks somewhere else. <laughs> like, yep. It was, yeah, I was like, lady, what? No, just let us buy this candy. I mean, she did. Let us buy. <laughs> let us buy. We, no, what if did she it? just like didn't sell it to you? <laughs> like at that point, she was like, oh, that's why. Uh, I'm not being chucked it right in the trash. In your crime. <laughs> exactly, yeah. I do wonder how obvious you would have to be 
at the movies for an employee to tell you like, hey, hey, come on, man, don't do that. Like, see, I just don't like, at least the movie theater, like I said, that I usually go to, mm-hmm. I like, because like whenever I go to the mall, like I have a friend that has a game store. So like I'll go there and I'm like, uh-huh. like I'll like, do this whole thing. I have my book bag, my laptop and all that crap. Because <laughs> like sometimes I just work on videos and stuff. Yeah. Um, and now like I'll go from that store, which is also in the mall, yeah. Um, which I mean, a game store is like inaccurate. He like you know a game stop is like trying to turn into where it's like right, a, mm-hmm. like a arcade sort of like they have games that you can play and like just hang out. Like that's the type of like store that he has. Nice. Um, so like I have like my whole book bag and I like go into this thing and then they take my ticket or they see me and I know I have the book bag. So like I can mm-hmm. have the whole store on yeah. me and they yep. don't even care. They're like, all right. <laughs> I mean, we, so we've snuck in Subway once back in college. That was a thing. I also did that, Um, but I had Subway in my hand last time. My my favorite that I, it's because it's in the mall. That's why they don't. Yeah, right. Exactly. So that's, I am curious about that. Like what, but somebody, somebody told me, and I can't remember who this is because I want to question it to make sure I'm not just like spreading a false story, but it's very funny. Um, Snuck in. A watermelon by pretending it was a pregnant belly. <laughs> it was like half a watermelon or whatever, and there was like cellophane around it or whatever. What and did they eat? Did they and eat, then just brought just a like spoon. Not a watermelon. Yeah, just, just like, <laughs> which is very funny to me. Like again, that's one of those things that's like I almost want to question that, but I don't remember <laughs> who told me. So, <laughs> oh, you're saying like the the validity of that? Story. Yeah, right. Exactly. Okay. I thought you were saying like in the like from the perspective of the, oh, of the employee, of the employee being like this seems a little suspicious, but uh-huh. you know. I also like how we haven't answered the question at all. Uh, I did answer the oh, question. Oh, yeah. The pretzel things, that's true. Yeah, um, them. Uh, Reese's Pieces, maybe. Also, that's... I said, the first thing I said was like gummy worms or something like that. Okay, they, yeah. Also, okay. sour those Skittles. Are, I think also. those are like more standard. Like yes. you're not going to get freaking Hershey's cookies and cream covered pretzels. Or right, whatever the heck. yeah. At any movie theater. But you could probably get some form of like gummy worms. That mm-hmm. you... This is See, true. I, I used to like gummy bears, but not anymore, man. Mm. Gummy bears are too tough, you know? Yeah, there's there's some candies that are like that. There's some that I feel like, like Mentos. Okay, I don't know if this is still, if this is accurate or whatever, but my experience was Mentos in Europe were like chewier than, I mean, like still kind of, have you ever had Mentos? I've never had Mentos in Europe. Okay, (laughs) I feel like, well, yeah, they were uh, like, I don't know. I felt like they were also a bigger deal there than they are here because here we have like Starburst and stuff, whereas they at least when also, I was there, I like the we didn't have they have like our fruit had. Mentos. Yeah, those. Yes. I like those. So that's there. I. I never had the mint Mentos. I only had the fruit Mentos, mm. and so that's what I'm used to. Uh, and they were like less tough than the ones here seem to be. Like the ones here seem like someone put them in the fridge for 20 minutes, and then you're eating them, and you're like, oh, ah, mm, these could be good, but like <laughs> I'm gonna break my tooth first. So <laughs> I don't know. Also, uh, related to bears, but yep. unrelated to candy, <laughs> Falcon. I'm friends with him on Facebook, and he uh-huh. posted a thing, um, and it was like, how come, <laughs> he said, how come honey always comes in, like, bears and not in bees, when bees are the ones that make the honey? And I want to know your thoughts on this. I I'm, said, because bears are more marketable. Than mm, because bees true. look gross, dude. Yeah. I don't know. used to, like, teddy bears and whatnot. Yeah, exactly. But, but bears... They're great. You know, I mean, yeah. they may murder you, but like <laughs> not in that form. They're, they're teddy bears at that point, you know? Yeah. Man, so, I mean, the easy the answer is just to agree with you, <laughs> which is like kind of seems about right. But yeah, um, I guess also maybe they're trying to empathize and say like, here, just like the bear, you also can eat honey. Um, they're yeah, not trying to say like you yeah. also need to produce honey just like these bees will, you know. So that's I, why I get. So they're like trying to they're trying to like normalize robbing from the bees. <laughs> yes, exactly. So they're like, they're like the bears. Do even it, nature does nature. it. Yeah, even so you're fine. nature steals from other nature. <laughs> We're part of nature in a roundabout way. Yeah, <laughs> indeed. Um, speaking of, well, not speaking of Grim Haynes, because that was... Speaking of nature. Talking. Speaking of next comments, um, Grim Haynes said, what cuisine is best? Chinese, French, Italian, etc., and why? All right, um, so I ordered, like, 
uh, like four or five things when I go to Chinese restaurant. If I mm-hmm. go, you know, like not yeah. all at once, but like if I'm going to go to Chinese, I yep. have like a rotation of like I'm yep. getting this, this, or this, right? Mm-hmm. I have never in my life uh, had like French food. Like I never like went to like a French restaurant. Mm-hmm. Uh, like I try like escargot because people are like it's gross. Try this and like yeah, it is gross. <laughs> uh, but Italian food is just the easiest because it's like man. that's the thing that I've had the most of, and it's like mm. the easiest thing. Like yeah, man, give me some of that. Yep. So I'm going to have to say Italian. Food. I would say, I mean, and he says et cetera, so I guess we could put more options in there if we want. But I'm going to say Italian food just in general too. Like mm. even France, okay, French wise, they've got like. um what sort of like I feel like, like baked that's goods? The, that's down. like the cultured answer. Like if you say French, you're French cultured. meals though is you're not. Cultured. I I mean I I lived in France for ten years uh, and like I don't care that much about French cuisine as far as like not dinner and stuff. Cultured, yeah. I mean because that's the thing is like it's it's one of those like this is the best tasting thing in small portions yeah. kind of an atmosphere as opposed to funnily enough Belgium which is like used to be part of France ish some of it and all that stuff. Um, is very like big hearty meals kind of thing, which is the opposite of France, which is funny. But uh, that said, Italian food, man, yeah, you just man. can't go wrong. Yeah, man. I mean, you probably could, but just don't, you know, yeah, get the man. ones where you're not going wrong with it. <laughs> um, and then next question, are people who say Nintendo is delaying a direct in order to make it appear like Animal Crossing is the o- only oasis in a new game's drought big dumbs and why yes someone has said this yeah they're very stupid because yeah. animal crossing came out on 3ds like one of the like the the, the libraries of games that people are like this is one of the, is this the best library in games history sort mm-hmm. of thing you know like it has like a lot of the like high points of different franchises on it and it still sold 13 plus million units so right. like animal crossing despite the fact that a lot of people see it as like this weird thing that's like do people even like this game but it's a huge franchise they are not worried about that game selling mm-hmm. <laughs> you know like they, they yep. could release that around literally any other game and i would be more scared for that other game unless yeah. it was like pokemon or something right um so yeah i don't, I don't know that, i don't think that it has anything to do with that yeah i don't know why specifically we're not we haven't gotten a direct yet, but the fact that we haven't, I, yeah, I don't think that it's being delayed for... I think it's despite us all. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, but, it, I mean, it's definitely not for the Animal Crossing reason because, honestly, that's... At, at some point, it. I don't know. Yeah. I have thoughts, but they don't necessarily make a whole lot of sense. <laughs> and I just... <laughs> yeah. I'm, like, kind of hungry and tired right now, so most of the things I say are, like, not... That's, that Great. makes for good Q and A segment. True, because fanatics foods. Speaking of donuts or cinnamon buns, uh, donuts, donuts, a lot yeah, more. Bri- cinnamon yeah. buns is just one thing. Yes. So, like, I mean, you can like you can get some different cinnamon buns. You know, stick raisins like, in there. Yeah, ew. I don't know, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but yeah, like you could like you could like you know you could get like make it a party, dude. <laughs> Uh, but <laughs> but yeah, donuts can vary a lot more. Let me describe the ways in which you can switch up cinnamon buns. You could make it a party, dude. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's it. Switch it up. I'm not yeah. gonna like go to that into because like, <laughs> like people get like sure. go all over the place with it. Like they're, I guarantee you there's like cheesecake cinnamon buns and like That's true. red yeah. velvet cinnamon. You know, like the yeah, yeah, yeah. the generic like dessert like uh-huh. switching things up. Yep. flavors and stuff they yep. i guarantee they've done it with cinnamon buns yep. but at the end of the day it's still a cinnamon bun with a twist whereas donuts can be vastly different but all I mean, really all they had to do is like con- like be a certain form like they just yeah. gotta be a donut yeah a maple ba- bacon maple bacon wow i had it i'm mm-hmm. having a stroke uh yeah. maple bacon donut and you're good you know you've got it like that's that's you did it right there you beat everything not everything but a lot of things um and i don't even like donuts that much for the most part but like there's some of them like maple bacon donuts just just like like, this comes up with bob a lot because bob is like huge on sweets Mm, and i'm like yeah i'll take them or leave them 
Mm-hmm. You know, like they're fine. I like cookies. They're great, dude. But mm-hmm. like, I'm not going to go out of my way to get sweets. If they're there, they're there. Yep. So if you got I'm some sweet chili that. pepper Doritos though, which I'm yeah. eating as soon as this thing's done. Um, <laughs> continuing on, Grimane says, my, this is him talking about his Valentine, mm-hmm. Valentine Day plans. He says, my Valentine Day plans involve me hanging out with my doggo who just got back on Thursday evening from having surgery on his leg. Oh, he's oh. doing well. A bit dopey from the painkillers. He tore his ACL. He's expected mm-hmm. to make a full recovery in about three months. Yeah, I saw that on Twitter. I think it was on Twitter, right? Um, I'm glad that your doggo is doing better and got his surgery and everything. And I hope that fixes up because dogs are, we love dogs. Yes. That's why there's a whole discord channel. for yep. <laughs> Uh, but yep. Uh, Chicapo says since becoming content creators, what are your best or favorite moments so far? I don't know. Um, it's because, like, I think it's, it might be, like, perspective is easier for you in this regard because you've been doing it yeah. shorter. And, like, even now you're, like, less immersed, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah So it's, sure. like, it's hard for me to, like, separate and be like, okay, what happened three weeks ago? <laughs> because it's just all one mm-hmm. long week. Yeah. Um, and so, it's also hard, I feel like, to separate the moments that were the best, like, felt the best versus the moments that performed the best. Yeah. Because, like, that's just such a strong metric in a lot of ways of like, Oh cool. I can feel good about myself because this thing performed well, but like maybe that wasn't your favorite video or something yeah. like that. You know? And, so, and a lot of times it's not even that, you know, like it, mm-hmm. it won't even like there's videos yeah. that's like, I liked making and that I'm like, cool or whatever. Like it, it did great. That's cool. Or sometimes I just like making it and I knew it wasn't going to do great and it didn't do great. And I still mm-hmm. liked the video <laughs> yeah. uh, stuff like that. Um, but a lot of it is like less about like the content part of it and the stuff that we get to do because of that, you know, mm-hmm. like, you know, hanging out with Bob, like that yeah. wouldn't have happened if I, if I wasn't a content creator, like right. that, those moments are fun. Pax is going to be great. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Know, like I'm that sort of that. stuff. Yeah, for sure. I mean, for me, like just the feeling of getting free, like the first couple, especially free games that I got, I was just like, this is like, what a. I don't know. Just it's just fun because it feels like it, validating or something like that, which is uh, a good old time. Um, getting the Divinity Original Sin copy, which is it's been over there, um, it's just a fun thing as well. Uh, I don't know. I mean, yeah, I, most of it. Like, there's some podcast episodes probably that are just like, you know, even better than others. I think they've all been pretty good, mm-hmm. but it's just fun. Yes. It's a good time. Yes. Good question. Moving on to Twitter. Uh, Duncan says, what are your guys' Valentine's Day plans? Which we already kind of talked about. But, sorry. But Duncan says, <laughs> we're going to the lady sister's place to play board games and have dinner tonight. That sounds fun. Are you having for dinner? What, what kind of board games? game are you playing? I, I'm a big fan. Like, I personally like strategy type games and that kind of thing. And that's fun. Ashley does I still want like to play kind of game. the werewolf game at PAX. Oh, yeah. Let's do that. I've, we've got it. I don't know. Oh, no, it's yeah. going to be lit, dude. <laughs> I think. Yeah. I mean, we got it at some point. As long as we still have it, I'll bring it up. Um, yeah. One Night Ultimate Werewolf. It's a, it's a good time. Which I've never played it with that many people either. So the more people there are, the kind of better it is because the more sort of complicated it is but Mm -hmm. um but yeah we're we're big into party games as well in our family just like there's one called loaded questions if you've never played it out there feel a play it's pretty much like it's kind of like apples to apples except for which is all apples apples have gotten boring at this point because whatever it's it's fun if it depends on your it is yes um it's it's more like at least the circles that i've been in like lots of youth group and church things where like it just that was the staple game for five years straight where it's like, we're going to play apples to apples. I'm like, okay guys, I'm done with that. But a little question is fine. Fun, I don't know how fun that would be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cause like a lot of times, like when I, at least when I play apples to apples, it's uh-huh. like this sort of thing. Well, I don't know if you watch like, like the Rhett and Link sort of situation mm. where it's like not, not that far on the, like, you know, like 
that side of uh-huh. like innuendo and stuff like that, but like just close enough, yeah. it's hilarious because mm-hmm. it's like you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, I feel like it wouldn't even go get to that part. I think uh, it depends on the circles and stuff. But I mean, I feel yeah, like most exactly. of the time, yeah, uh, even within like youth group stuff, because it's not like. I don't know. Thanks. But loaded questions is fun because a it leans a little bit more into that. Not nearly as much as like cards against humanity, but mm-hmm. a little bit more into that. Yeah. Um, like, I feel like cards against humanity is like on the other side. Of yeah. The, like it, it's not, it's sometimes not, I do it feel doesn't like flirt with the line. It's over the line. It's over. Yeah. It? <laughs> and even that like, d- and that one's more fun depending on some people that you play with, because some yeah. people it's literally like, what's the grossest card that or like, yeah. you know, most obscene card you can put in there. Right. And then that one's going to win, which is like, that's not fun or creative. Exactly. That and that's the thing that I like about uh Apples Apples a lot of time with the mm-hmm. people that I play it with is because yeah. it's like, all right, how can I make this funny yeah. without like just trying to like making it a just a shock value or whatever. Yeah, 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 right. You know, like yeah. the thing of like, oh my god, he said that, but like at the <laughs> same time, you can still air it on TV. Yeah. But yes, yeah, so load of questions. It's the same premise, but instead of having cards that you put in, so like I would read some question and then everybody writes down their answer and then somebody next to me reads all the answers and I have to guess who's is who's. Um, but it ends up being pretty funny just because like people write down their answers and they write down dumb stuff. Uh, so again, it, it's depending on who you play it with, it could be fun or very boring. We played it with, it was me and Ashley, um, my parents, my sister and her boyfriend at the time and my grandparents. And it was hilarious just to see the kind of like Ashley and I would only write just off the wall, silly stuff. Uh, my grandparents, one of the questions was like, what would you scream jumping out of a plane or something like that? And then, you know, some people wrote funny stuff or whatever. Both of my grandparents wrote Geronimo. (laughs) Like, yep. Yes, you would. That's <laughs> accurate. Like, very factual thing. And so. what does that even mean, actually? I, that's a great question. Um, that's like one of those things that, like, just nobody. Well, most people don't know what it means. They just know it's a thing that you say when, uh-huh. like, in that. We're sense, gonna you know. know what it means when we check our comments yep. because wh- whether he was going to before or not. Yeah, Grim Hayne's now yeah. gonna comment it. <laughs> Thanks, Grim Hayne. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah that stuff uh, but yeah let us know what board games you play donkey because uh, I don't know have fun all that stuff too <laughs> yes let us know what board games you're going to play because have fun yeah. uh, Falcon this is the question that you alluded to a yes. bunch of times uh-huh. AJ what kind of people are you attracted to Parker what attracted you to your wife hashtag right, so- <laughs> fanatics times day oh my god we're not starting this one we have too many we already have too many hashtags the one the one yeah <laughs> This one's once a year, so it's ma- more manageable. Yeah, you know yeah. what? Yeah, it's fair. No. But then we're going to have, like, uh, fanatics, miss, you know, like, <laughs> we're just we're just opening yeah. a can. And yeah. They'll never be closed. Never That's, be closed. Uh, but women, I don't, like, I don't understand this question. <laughs> But like uh, the reason why I was like, like the, as far as like the Valentine's thing, the, like mm-hmm. like I just I don't know. I'm just like in this space where I just don't want to do that. <laughs> like, yeah. I, I just don't. I, I already got too much stuff that I feel like I got to do, and I don't want to like have to like mm-hmm. juggle that alongside the things that I got to juggle currently. So mm-hmm. that's why. I'm like, and I feel like I would I would just would feel bad. Because mm-hmm. I would like, I know that I need to be doing more in that regard if I'm yeah. in that situation, but I wouldn't want to. <laughs> so <laughs> it's like, I just rather not even bother. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, mean, more I, wholesome. <laughs> I, I get that on a conceptual level for sure for someone else. Cause I mean, for me, yeah, I like, think like you're already in. So it's yeah, like, oh, yeah, for sure. and it, which it's is not like juggling, it's, it's the reverse of it, right? It's like yeah. fitting in more stuff to what your established life already yeah. is. Whereas me, I'm juggling different stuff. Yeah. And that, that was just adding another ball. Right? Yep. No, I like, I think for me, especially, it's like the, the fact that I'm married helps me to f- focus on regular life so much better. <laughs> yes. Uh, because yeah. just the kind of person I, and this is like so dumb, but like when I was working at Burger King in college, in the drive through, I remember telling Mitch about this and he was like, who also worked at Burger King at some point. And he was like, yeah, me too, a little bit. Um, but in working through the drive through I would have the thought fairly regularly of like, some girl comes to the drive through I'm like, what if she's my future wife? And this is our story. It's like, <laughs> it's like 18 year old Parker, like just 
it was just so dumb, but you know what? It, it is where we're at. Um, oh, well, where we were at. And so not having to have that kind of thing on yeah, my mind all the like, time. I'm it's just like, like, first of all, so nice for that reason. Not to mention, obviously, just the fact that I love my wife and I'm yeah. very, very happy that we're married. And like, as far as what attracted me to her, obviously, like, I think she's pretty. So that's obviously <laughs> great. Um, but then like having a good sense of humor was yeah. a really big deal. Like us just getting along on that front and then being able to talk about serious stuff. And like for both of us, our faith was pretty important. So that's the thing. Um, yeah, I think those are like kind of the, the highlights, but there's a lot more minutia in there as I'm well. Just, uh, willfully uh, oblivious. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like just last weekend or whatever, I was my I was with my brother, mm-hmm. um, and we were over our friend's house, uh, and she has like she has like a twin and then another sister. Mm-hmm. Uh, so her sister was over her twins house or whatever and they were like having some party and she facetimed them um and then she was like showing her like aj's here and his bro well first it was like uh sam who's my brother sam's here mm-hmm. and then his friends here and then our favorite and I was like, what <laughs> i was like what are you talking about and she was uh she was like oh my brothers but not him though he can't be my brother because then you know and i was like what <laughs> i was like i was like <laughs> <laughs> that's really funny it's like awkward yep Man, I'll, I'll, I'll be curious to find out how all that stuff progresses. It, it, it will not. Yeah. <laughs> that, I mean, not with what? that person specifically. 500,000 subscriber goal <laughs> is when I'm like, all right, you know what? We're established enough. Now I got extra time. You know? <laughs> now I can invest in this. There you go. Yeah. Uh, man, what a time. But yeah, last <laughs> question. Fun, fun times getting serious-ish on that. Yeah, I mean, man. except for... I mean, not really. Yeah, not really. Yeah. (laughs) Um, Devil Man's Crybaby says, What? And this is the last question from the whole podcast, the the wonderful 101 podcast episode. Wonderful 100 and once podcast. (laughs) You got it. Uh, What video game characters do you think would make a good couple? You can mix and match from different franchises. Um, Sonic and Zelda. Got it. We're done. Why? I'm just kidding. Very much <laughs> They're both toxic and Smash Brothers. Yeah, there you go. That's uh, that's really all you're looking for. <laughs> they can be toxic together. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, maybe it's easiest to think of this like just pick one and then see who and then who would be that person's yeah. perfect pairing. Yep. So like Peach. That's messed Cause, up. Because it might not be Mario. True. Because she doesn't want to settle with them. Apparently not. Yeah. Who he's off doing I his mean, own Sonic thing. is also indecisive, but that's like, you know, he's mm-hmm. a different species. So I don't know. Yeah. I don't know if you want to do that. Uh, Little Mac, I feel like with Peach would be, would be a good match. Why? I, I think Peach is uh, like is independent mm-hmm. and, and stuff, obviously, yes. as we can tell by the end of Mario Odyssey, spoiler alert. Um, but then <laughs> like, you know, having, having a guy maybe that's just like more straight straight laced like i'm just gonna i'm just gonna box and is hang that, out with is you that how little man is, talks yeah that's exactly how he talks ah, i'm gonna box and <laughs> box is what i'm gonna do um i don't know why right at the end that was like uh it's a guy um whatever it doesn't matter don Oh, Don Knotts, except for our right, box is what I'm going to do. That's uh, Barney Fife mm. from Andy Griffith. It didn't really sound like him. It just mm-hmm. felt like it in my head. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> I think Little Mac with Peach. That's okay. Your turn. Uh, All right, let's see. Who's, who's somebody that needs a relationship? <laughs> Samus? <laughs> mm, yep. But then again, I don't, I don't like that <laughs> because like how I phrased it, I don't mean she needs a relationship. No, yeah. I just mean she's not in one. Is a person. Yes. Right. Exactly. Um, so forgetting to Nintendo franchise. Oh, the freaking, you know, it doesn't have to be Nintendo franchise. It can be whatever you want. Nintendo franchise. So, yep. Uh, Samus and Master Chief. Cause that one's easy. <laughs> or, uh, or what's her name? Yeah. Uh, Ripley or whatever, from Alien. <laughs> oh yeah, because they're the same person. Yep. So there you go. There you go. <laughs> Easy <Carter>. enough. <laughs> <laughs> e- 
even though like the, I don't know I, I don't know if that always works because I know like when I did yeah. entertain relationships I would rather be with somebody that was less likely like me in a lot of ways because yep. then it's more interesting yeah I <laughs> think that's more stuff to talk about yeah for sure I think I think being too similar to the other person isn't as I think having commonalities is really yeah. important like yeah just things what you find important like yeah, the 80 20 rule like your maybe even 20 percent of it's a backwards whatever but like yeah. your 20 percent is like also very important to their top 20 percent, the, and then the rest is kind of different the stuff that you need to be the same on is like you know like beliefs yeah and that sort of thing like that sort of like foundation mm-hmm. but as far as interests go the only shared interest that you have to have to make everything and this isn't even something that's like mm-hmm. imperative or whatever but that would make it the easiest on both of you it's just being willing to test out each other's interests right yeah Where right. it's like a thing of like, i like games so try this game you like it no okay that's fine i yep. like freaking sitcoms or, or uh reality tv shows mm-hmm. watch this one with me you like it okay that's fine you know like that's yep. sort of thing. i so, think that's i think that very that's accurate. also a possibility so with that being said samus and luigi do <laughs> <Perfectly well. laughs> there you go there it is the one 101 episode of directly to you yep um, for some reason i got pit in my head uh everybody let us know who do you think pit that's the question for the end who would pit be matched up with um who's also who also can't fly or who, yeah. else, who else is like a thing that should uh-huh. be able to do something and you can't do it you know so let they can relate know. you know that's true on a spiritual level also they're <laughs> spiritual <I guess>. yeah <laughs> <sighs> all right that's it y'all Good job. There it is. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, watch our Animal Crossing week <laughs> on youtube.com slash fanatics4. And also, if you want to support this channel, like I said at the beginning, youtube.com slash fanatics4 or twitch.tv slash fanatics4. Click join or subscribe for $4.99. You get all that great stuff. Thanks for listening. Indeed. Goodbye. Bye.